All right, today we're gonna be marathoning through a whole bunch of uh, Pizza Tower pre-release builds. Not all of them because there are probably over a hundred unique ones, but we'll be going through like the major ones that have that are documented and have been put out to the public. I don't know if I'll be going over some of the ones that aren't public. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just be starting from all the way back when the uh, like 2018, from around when the game first started. That's this build, and we'll be going all the way up until. Uh, some of them are modern stuff, so let's jump right in. Where's my, where's my, where's my controller? Hang on, I gotta turn off the lights on me a little bit too. Also, Andrew Muller, or Mueller, I don't know, whichever way to say it. Thank you for the $2 super chat. I'm eating Mickey D's. Nice. What is, chat, what is your go-to uh, McDonald's menu choice? So, yeah, this is like the first, I think it's the first, not ever build, but first build that was put out to the public. I don't even know if it was actually put out to the public. I feel like it uh, wasn't, but then it got leaked online. I don't remember the, the ins and outs, but I, got, I have my list of, uh, of builds beside me. Okay. Oh god, okay. So, yeah, we'll just be playing through it. I don't know if we'll play through um, all the builds in full, because some of them take quite a bit to get through. Uh, so we'll play like a, a good chunk of them. Hopefully the volume's okay. If you guys heard that, that was like, um... This game still has like Wario Land sound effects, which is pretty sick. Like a lot... What the hell? <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the sound effects are still Wario Land. I believe some of the graphics are too. I don't remember if these blocks are ripped from Wario Land, but there's a lot of stuff in in this earliest build that's still a leftover from Wario Land. Um, which one is it? Wario Land? I think it's a mix of Wario Land, like, three and four mostly. I think there's some Wario Land 2 stuff, like some sound effects. I suck at jumping. A cheeseburger? Hell yeah. Six Big Macs at McDonald's. I, I don't know if that's a hell yeah or a consult a doctor. Sorry, I, I, I want to get into the secret. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard. Oh, is there no secret? Did I get whatever was in here? Okay, probably. Whoops, my bad chat. Um, wait, interesting to see that the cheese slime was still an enemy all the way back here. Also, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, uh, sound effects for collecting toppings are definitely still, oh, that was different, uh, are definitely still, um, from Wario Land. It's like the coin collecting sound effect, which is pretty funny. So there's no, like, there's no attack moves yet, there's no slap, there's no, like, dash attack. I don't even think you can kill most enemies, except maybe if you run into them. I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, to the slimes we ran into, but... Oh, yeah, so I don't think they, I don't think you can actually kill enemies. I think you can stun them, but I don't think there's any way to kill them. But this was essentially, like, a, uh, the build name of this one's actually, I think it's called really early test build. That's, that's actually what it's called. Or at least early test build. I don't know if that's the official name or if that's just like the fan given name. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not what most would consider complete. Oh, there's a banana there. Okay. Let's check out what that door has. I pl I've played most of these builds already. I just don't remember uh, what most of them have. <laughs> Also, re realistic pizza as the background image. Hell yeah. Excuse me? What do I... What do I do about that? <laughs> what do I... That background's sick, I agree. How do I... How do I do this? But some things are pretty, like, well... Like, even, like, the drifting or, like, the turning, rather... Pretty well done. Like, pretty complete. Am I supposed to... Also, even the jumping, like, the jumping is also similar to Wario Land. So normally if I jump, you have, like, a low jump. That's, like, the normal jump. If you hold up, if you hold up on the, uh, on the D-pad and then jump, you have, like, a higher jump. Just like in Wario Land. So, you, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff from Wario Land is carried over. Can you run up walls? No. That's the thing that was implemented later on. Um... So no wall runs, as far as I understand. No wall runs, no uh, attack moves, no slap around. Even, yeah, because later, we'll see that later on, uh, they added like a slap move that was later on scrapped from... Can I roll yet? Rolling around the move yet? Sorry, I need 
more, more runway. Okay, so rolling around is a move, so we can roll through that gap. I just need more speed, I guess. There we go, yes. Okay. Uh, just needed that. So, yeah, a lot of the level doesn't really make sense. At least that's what it seems. It's kind of just, like, stuff thrown around. What's going on here? Okay, hang on. Oh, that's classic. That's a... Uh, that's that's straight up rip from Wario Land 2. That's like the that's the song that's the sound effect that plays when you're on fire in Wario Land 2. That's so funny. I love that. See, I don't know if these are secrets or if I should be going in these. Look, I, I already messed this up. I oh, don't no, never mind, I'm good. So I, I guess this is a secret room. Um That cheese background though. <laughs> How do I? How do I reach that? But even the highest of jumps won't reach that. What do I do? Okay, probably. Okay, do I need to? Okay. Oh, you can pick him up. Okay, that's probably what I needed to do in the other room. I just. I thought I tried, but it wasn't working. So I don't know. Maybe I didn't stun him enough? I don't know. I assume I have to jump off him. Yes! There we go, chat. Also, Pepino has, like, voice lines in this game, which I think are also. Borrowed from something, if I'm not mistaken. Just a lot. Just a lot of uh, borrowed stuff. Try super jump. You mean like the uh, the run and then it just stop me? Oh, it is like running into him, like bamboozle me. I assume you mean the. Uh, So apparently this song is from Chrono Trigger. Let me check my notes here. Uh, I don't know if I wrote it down. I think I did. Uh, Night is Frog's theme from Chrono Trigger, apparently. Also, uh, if you have noticed, the knight has a little stubby sword attack. And I believe I talked about this in my video. Oh, you can kill cheese slimes. So you just can't kill some enemies. Weird. But yeah, they straight up took a song from Chrono Trigger. So funny. Exciting, it's funny. Can I? Can I? Mm, there we go. Controller's still kind of scuffed, not gonna lie. But, uh, okay, so now we have to touch the spikes. Also, there's no, like, priest or anything. The only way you, uh... The only way you can get rid of power-ups is to touch those cheese spikes or whatever they're called. Let's go. Uh, Pino's voice here is just from stock voice clips, the same ones uh, Mario from 664 Beta's used. That's funny. That is genuinely funny. Damn it. In my room. Imagine the jump scares in 3D. I've seen people talk about that. I, I personally have not seen any proof of it. I don't know if that was something that was just teased once, but I've seen a lot of people comment about it, but I have just not and it. Are you okay, actually I guess I can I guess I can get hit and lose it. Um yeah, I have not seen anything about uh about the uh oh my god. I hate that they damage if you run into them. Like that. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, that's my train of thought. Um, yeah, the 3D jump scares. I haven't seen anything about it. People have just been saying, oh, it was meant to be a thing, but I personally have not seen any proof. But I guess I'll have to look into that more. The unused 3D jump scares for uh, DMAS are on the wiki. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to check that out. That's cool. So also this is so this is the original way that you would end a level. So this is before uh, Pillar John or John Pillar was introduced. Uh, actually, quite a few builds have this. Where at the end of the level, there is a pillar that has the treasure, uh, which in the final game is like a secret you find within the level. Here it is the end of the level, and once you reach it, you have to break it open. You get the treasure, and then that's what starts pizza time. And <laughs> sorry, no, the noise comes in, pushes a button, and then. Starts pizza time, which gives you a lot of, a lot of time. All right, we gotta run back. Definitely an early version of the. Uh... That's not what I pressed. 
It definitely sounds like an early version of, uh, I don't know what the, the track is called. The, the, the song that plays when you, uh, but it was definitely a topping in there that we missed, uh, when you are doing pizza time. I'm sure it has a name. Is it called just pizza time? Probably. Probably is called just pizza time. And yeah, a lot of the early music, the guitar is super loud, like in the mix, like obnoxiously loud. Guitar players, am I right? What's up, baby Zizzy? So I guess this level eventually got reworked into Pillar John somewhat. It's not very similar, but I guess the theming is, I mean, the layout is not similar at all, but the theming is kind of in the same vein, right? Wait, did we go too far? Oh, well, we missed, we missed the pineapple. Oh my God, that was the worst jump of my life. A normal green slime, it's called It's Pizza Time. I thought so, thank you, thank you for the super chat. At least, at least the guitar sounds good. True. Where was the door? Is there a door? Hang on, this is where we started, but there's no like exit door. Or am I going crazy? Am I going crazy? Oh, and I'm supposed to... I don't, why is this, is this... I don't remember this at all, unless it's like different on the way back. Oh, there it is. Lap two. Oh, I was gonna go... I was, didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't... Also, that music's def def definitely different. I didn't mean to press up. I wanted. To, I think lap two works differently. I don't really want to play the level again, but for those curious, lap two does work differently in this build. Um, so instead of it warping you back to the end of the level, you actually just go to lap two and you just you have to get to the end of the level again manually to get uh, 200 extra points, and then you run back again. So it wasn't as streamlined as it is in the final game. Also, you get soft locked on the screen so we'll have to uh we'll have to uh switch for a bit while i get to the next build so that was build one chat the early test build now let's move on what's next next is the halloween demo all right there were some tester builds along the way but halloween demos they're all very similar and that's just like the the final version of it so this was halloween this was released on Halloween of 2018. So over four years ago, like four and a half years ago now, uh, on October 31st, uh, we're, <laughs> now I just gotta find it. Uh, Halloween demo. Okay, so this is about, when was the last one? This last one was July 15th, this one's October. So what is that? Three months, three, three and a half months since the last build. Resize the window again. Before we go, I'm, I need a sip. I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm already, not losing my voice yet, but voice is getting kind of strained. Not, not drinking enough fluids. Uh, hi, Tetra, I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Also, any kind of lost bits you want to make apart from Pizza Tower? Yeah, I'm pretty much done with Pizza Tower video. I, I, I have one more I'll be making, and then I'm, I'm pretty... Personally, I, I want to move on to other stuff. There's so much more I could cover if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to just chase the views chat, I could make a lot more views. But personally, I just want to I just want to move on to other stuff. All right, chat. So this is the Halloween demo, a.k.a. Demo 1, I think is... Well, sorry, I, I don't want to say that because that might not be true. It is the Halloween demo. Let's leave it at that. I don't know if there's any other names given to it. Let me uh, switch the screen here. Uh, oh, also, let me... Um, how's the volume, by the way? Is it good? One in chat if volume is good. Two if volume is not good. I'm just going to update the member goal. We're a bit off from 90. Let's, uh, let's drop it back to 85. Yeah, thank you for the super chat so far. I appreciate it. The two super chats again from Andrew Muller and the normal green slime. All right, one, 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 one. Okay, epic. That's what I love to see. All right, chat. So this is demo, the Halloween demo. Obviously, from the changes from last time, we already have like a title screen. We have like a 
quote unquote hub world. It's not much of a hub world because it's just the one level so far. Uh, also, before we jump in, we have actually an attack now. We have a Pepino doing the slap move, uh, which was introduced in some builds, but eventually got scrapped. Not too late in development. It got scrapped pretty or relatively early, I'd say, but it, we actually do have an attack move now. I don't know what else is. I mean, the, the whole moveset's kind of different now. Um, especially the uh, super jump is more similar to what it is in the final. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to jump over the... Uh, or should I do it? I'll do it after we beat the level, because I don't want, really want to do the whole tutorial, because we've... I know how to play this game, but... But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. There's, so normally, if you don't know that it's there, uh, if you run towards the castle, the ground breaks apart. And then a... Uh, is that a secret? It is! Um, the ground breaks apart, and there's the it drops you to the tutorial level. Slap was, yeah, slap was replaced by the grab and then like the dash grab, pretty much. So in this build, unlike the previous one, you actually do have to get all five toppins uh, in order to... Also, this build definitely still uses Wario sound effects in the music, which is sick. I really wish they could have had that in the game. Obviously, I understand why they couldn't, but... Why can I not this thing jump? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, music slaps. Will I check out Floor 2 of Sherdery Spire when it comes out? I unfortunately have no idea what that is. Galaxy of the Masters. I love that Wario sound effect, dude. It just gets me every time. This song is in the final, right? It's just not, like, obviously different, but... Just slaps. <laughs> I love that Wario sound. Okay, so there's also that bowling ball. Can I not reach? Ah, I didn't. Hang on, I'm gonna. Uh, I know you're supposed to fall down to get that. But, like, I just wanna do it the faster way. And by faster, I mean slower, apparently, because I'm going snail's pace right now. Okay, whatever. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. Never mind. I'll take it back. We'll do it later. Also, UI is different. Obviously, we have the speed meter. We have the uh, Wario, or not Wario, Peppino vision. But we can see the, yeah, I don't think that was in the last build, was it? I, at this point, I don't remember. But, um, yeah. Oh, hey. All right. Let's check out Pete's Tower mods. Uh, actually, I actually have not done that yet, surprisingly. Um, I don't know. What are some good ones? Like, I need, I would need some recommendations. I don't know what I would should be on the lookout for. I saw there's one that I saw. It was like a improvement or like a deluxe version of Crumbling Tower Pizza. It seemed kind of cool. One pizza coin. I don't. Are, can you use pizza coins in this build? I don't remember. I think you can. I think you use it. Still use it for the. Uh, I think you can still buy shotguns with it, but I don't remember at this point. Also, there's some wall running. It's definitely not as good as it is in the uh, in the final. Like, you can't run infinitely up a wall. I, I, you can you get like a little bit of a a wall run from what I remember. Yeah, you get like a little bit, but you can't like you can't just run up the whole thing like you can in uh, in uh, the final. We got the cheese. And the mushroom. Also, early, uh, I mean, we saw them in the last build too, but early toppings, toppings, sorry. Early doors that I don't believe were seen in the final. I mean, most of the stuff isn't seen in the final, so I'm, I'm just gonna not, not bring it up every single time, but there's a lot of stuff that isn't in the final. Pizza coins. In future builds that we'll get through, uh, I believe you can use the pizza coins to unlock like the challenge versions of each stage. I think that's actually the next build up, which we'll see soon, I suppose. Okay, whoops, whoops, whoops. Whoa, okay, that was a lot. It's the noise. I think I 
I, I talked about the noise bomb. Yeah, pretty sure I talked about the noise bomb spawner in a previous video. But there you go. You can see it. You can see it working in action. There's the uh, the noise spawning bombs out of the window, doing his thing. So weird seeing this old version of the game. It's like an entirely different. Oh, it's. Oh, well, I would say it's an entirely different game, but the concepts were much different. Like it wasn't until much later on in development actually that the uh, the concept of focusing more so on speed than anything else uh, that change was made. So yeah, the the way the game played was definitely different. Uh, and even this one, sorry, we saw the the later unused animation of the level transition essentially of Pepino moving on to the next level or the next floor in the tower, I, I should say. Um, which I believe there's three floors that we get through. There's like three floors in the boss fight. The key. Uh, should I go back this way? Sorry, it's been like two weeks since I played this. Sorry, more. It's been like almost a month since I played this build. Uh, sorry, why am I trying to I can just climb the ladder? I don't need to do super jump. Slap move's kind of cool, but I don't know. I definitely prefer the, the dash attack. It's kind of like just having to slap around an enemy for a couple seconds really slows down the gameplay. Yeah, like, imagine having to do that just over and over again. What do we got? Three, three Toppins. Okay, chat, I see a lot of you trying to, like, bait out me reading your comments. There's a reason I'm not reading your comments. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But not always. Sometimes I just miss comment. But a lot of you are like, oh, can I just get a shout out? Can I just get a shout out? It's like, no. <laughs> I see it way too much. I'm trying to play a game chat. If you guys, if you guys send like a, a not that, it, not, I don't want to say a, a lot of chat messages aren't meaningful, but if you say something like more meaningful in the chat, higher chance of me reading it. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Okay. Five. So yeah, so yeah, so we can't even break through John Pillar until we have five toppings. I guess we already have to feed them the first three, unfortunately. Uh, we'll chuck them. We'll chuck them the first three. I didn't think I was gonna have to get rid of them already, but we have to find two more toppings. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Give them a warning first. If they keep spamming, like, give me a shout out or read this and stuff like that. Then, if it, if it gets egregious, you can time them out, but by default, uh, just give them a timeout. Woo! Okay, that one was easy. A lot of, a lot of the uh, top-end puzzles are pretty easy, thankfully. It is John Pillar. So yeah, this is, I guess, the first build where he was seen. Also, I definitely messed that up. Uh, I also just realized that there's a little timer on the bottom. That's hilarious. Do I even have four coins? It's time to chew ass. All right. Okay. Uh, so I only have 13 rounds. Might try to save them. It also doesn't seem to reach as far as like the, the final version does, but it definitely makes killing enemies a lot faster. So I can't complain about that. What did I, I know I said the top end things were easy, but this one's a little bit more difficult just because like the, the gaps are so precise to jump through, but I guess I got a second try. I'll take it. Oh, that was a different Wario sound. That was sick. Like I said, chat, the remix slaps. So, I mean, I, I don't know if you can even consider it a remix. It's like just the, just the original version of it. 
I don't like that you can't shoot while jumping. As soon as you jump, if you shoot, it defaults to uh, just... Can I shoot through metal? No, okay. Uh, defaults to shooting downwards. The buddy man, like, pressing down. Okay, actually got it that time. So that was something I don't didn't want to do. There was no benefit to that. Uh, I guess except that I got to have a second chance at getting the... The metal thing. Okay. And, and honestly, it loops really well. Like, there's a lot of songs that don't loop well. Um, definitely does. You dingus. <laughs> wait, do I have the key? Wait. <coughs> wait, 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 wait. Do I have to go up? Wait, is it, what? Wait, what just happened? What about John Pillar? Now I'm confused. How was I? Oh, I didn't feed all the toppings. Now I'm confused, chat. Anyway, boss fight against Pepperman. Where we get to slap him around for a little bit. And hope that I don't get pushed off the edge. If you get pushed off the edge on the stage, you uh, you get sent back down. You have to climb back up. So, uh, actually, if you, get, if you get hit off the right side, it's okay. Because you get, you get spawned right by the door. If you get hit, hit off the left side... You spawn into a different section of the uh, the tower, so you have to do more backtracking. This one, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't think I picked up the key. It might just work because I've already beaten this demo. I don't know. I shouldn't. I don't think I should have been able to. Did I get the key? I don't remember. I, now I don't remember. I don't think I should be able to do this unless I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Anyway, Pepperman fight very different than how it is in the final. Kind of just has his dash attack and. Obviously, he loses color the more you fight. Eat. But as long, yeah, as long as we chill in the middle, it's fine. We're, we're doing all right. There we go. We did it. Yo, fifty dollars super chat. That's a Donkey Kong moment from Hey You Person. to try and it's super what? easy to download you just have to paste the text file into the game file paste text file in the game files if, if you'd like, like to try it i can send i can send file file on the discord. discord oh sorry can i pause in this version i want to read that chat more uh that translates all of the text on the game translates all of the text which which text is it translate also thank you for the 50 dollars super chat it's very generous uh paste the text file into the game's files uh try and send it. that sounds interesting i just it translates which Part, which text on the game? That's just the part I'm confused of. Like, translates it from English to something else? Anyways, thank you for the super chat. Very generous. Uh, yeah, uh, if you're in the Discord already, uh, maybe don't post it just yet, but some clarification there would be dope. Thank you. Very generous. Very, 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 very generous. Noise is calling. Pick up phone chat. $50 super chat. Thank you. Hang on, I want to get the secret. What was in there? Oh, it's probably just points, actually. I probably don't care enough. I actually know I don't care enough. <laughs> this is going to be a pizza box with 100 points that I don't think matters too much. But yeah, I don't think I sh was supposed to be able to do this. I also, why did I go back here? Hang on. Best music, chat. So good. Wait, in this one, you actually have to go like down, like, back down all the floors. Also, still confused why I didn't have to do uh, Tower the Pillar John. So the music gets loud as hell. Damn, $50 super chat. Thank you. And if you guys are enjoying the stream, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button below. It'll give you all the info you need. Help support the channel, and I do appreciate it. Get access to some epic emotes and a green name in chat. It makes it easier to see you. Escape. There we go. Also, no taunting yet, unfortunately. Escape with two minutes left. Let's go. Dude. Only a B rank. Oof. That's what I call an oof moment. <laughs> Bro, no ready to get funky. Exactly. Also, I I've talked about the screen in my uh, in my videos, but you, you can see the preview of uh, what we're supposed to be more. Um, 
difficult. It's supposed to be more transformations were going to be added to the game, but as we've discussed, most of them did not make it. I was it press start and then select retry to go back to the title screen? There is no retry. <laughs> there, there is no retry. Hang on, I want to see if it um, if it lets me uh. Okay, it does. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the tutorial, groundbreaking apart stuff, just because we skipped it earlier. So normally, if you didn't know, or even if you know but you just forgot, uh, you walk over and then the ground breaks, and I guess this is worth playing through. It's an early version of the tutorial. We might as well go through it at least once. I believe the same version gets used up in a lot of early builds. Um, so we'll do it here just to show you guys how different it how different it was. Wow, crazy. I mean, it's not, I mean, it is and isn't similar to the tutorial it's seen in the final version. I love the music though, it's so good. This is like, uh, it's like the early version of Flooney Cooley, whatever the song's called. And this is actually like a remix of an actual song, I believe. Let's see, what do my notes say? What do my notes say, chat? Uh, so this is Funiculi Funicula by Dim Witty using Wario Land 4 sound font, apparently. <laughs> I just find that so funny. I wish there was more. I mean, obviously I get for copyright reasons, but I wish there was more of just like... <laughs> Random covers of uh, songs, but with Wario Land 4 sound font. Speaking of which, that's a, a, a really funny thing I found this week. Was, um... Anyway, then it starts with the level. A really funny thing I found this week was, uh... It's the Nirvana Nevermind album, but with Mario 64 sound font. <laughs> it's just so... I, I found it so funny. Uh... Obviously you can't play it, because it's probably copyright, but... It was, it's a, it's a good, it's, if you want to listen to it, if you're a fan of Nirvana, check out Nirvana Mario 64. Okay, so that was the Halloween demo. Now we move on to Demo 2. Demo 2. The demo known at, colloquially as Demo 2 chat. Song slaps. Song do be slapping. Okay. And we're back. Okay. So, no, you guys, I didn't swap it yet. There we go. So, as we can see, in, well, it's pretty much the same title screen, though now it just says Demo 2 instead of just Demo. I believe most things like that are the same. We have the same hub world, though this time we do have added levels. So, the level we did before was Ancient. It's supposed to be like an early version of Ancient Cheese, obviously very different still, but, um... We won't play it again, just because we've uh, just played it, and I don't think there's too many differences in the, in the actual level. But I, what I will show you is that if you collect enough, I've already beaten, as, as you can see, and I've unlocked the doors. But I believe each of the doors on the side here are five pizza coins each. Uh, so you get them, if you get enough coins, uh, you kind of get like a challenge, challenge run of uh, using transformation seen in that stage. So the first one, you use the bomb, and I don't want to spoil this, the second one yet, if you, if you don't know what it is yet, but... But uh, it's like a challenge, a, ti a timed challenge run using the uh, abilities that you get in that level. So they're pretty, it's actually pretty difficult, so I probably won't be able to beat it. It's like you kind of mess up once and you're screwed, and I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I, I kind of just want to show you guys how, kind of what it looks like, you know? Is that Amogus? No, this is, this predates Amogus by about two years still. I messed that up. Oh, I, okay. See, that's the thing. You mess up once, and you're probably screwed for time. But we'll just, we'll roll with it. For the memes, you know? Yeah, this, this is back when um, you couldn't throw the bomb. And I, I, and I guess you guys haven't really been... If you're not playing, you might not have noticed, but... Uh, you have, like, you can't control where Pepino moves. I, I keep wanting to say Wario. Um, you kind of just run either straight left or straight right. Until you hit a wall, and then you, uh, then you, uh, turn around. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to jump there, right? See, I'm already screwed. Like, and you have to, like, memorize the, like, you mess up once and you're screwed. So you have kind of, unless I don't have to, unless I don't have to do that. I don't know. 
No, I do. I, do I? I try jumping though. It didn't work. Oh, I know what it is. I have to jump on the. I remember this. I didn't know what to do for the longest time. You have to jump on these pillars. I thought they were like background objects at first. They're actually something you need to use. Oh, come on. Okay, anyway, so you, I'd hit that block, I'd get the bomb, go up, and... Anyway, yeah, so for this one, it's pretty tight with the time. I think the second one's even more tight with the time. But, uh, yeah, I think and I think when the time's up, you don't get chased or anything. You just get... You just, you just lose. Yeah, you just lose. <laughs> you just lose. Uh, time's up. Anyway, so we'll check out the second level that was added in this build. Uh, let me check my notes. Anything else? Uh, many structural level design changes. Okay, actually, maybe I will revisit Ancient. So apparently there are structural level design changes. Let me just see if there's anything immediately that stands out. Yo, what's up, Shy? Can I get a Bing Bing Wahoo? Bing Bing Wahoo! That's a throwback. Anyway, it looks looks pretty similar. <laughs> I don't think... But I think... So apparently levels were now usually one or two big screens rather than... Smaller chunks, I guess. Okay, anyway, we'll check out the factory level. So, obviously, an early version of the factory level that is seen in the game. A much earlier version, but still has the weenie fellas. Oh, thank you, Shy, for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Uh, also, has the early version of the pizza box. And again, this, this is stuff I've talked about in my videos, but this is before the pizza box was all about just, like, flying around. Um, doesn't even have an attack. So the, the entire purpose of the pizza box in this build uh, is to just crawl under stuff. Uh, another five from Hey You Person. Sorry, uh, I had to go really quick. What do you say about the Google Translate mod? Oh, I was going to I said, um, if you're in the Discord already, uh, give me some more info about it. It sounds interesting. I just wasn't really clear about what it translates. What did you say about the Google Translate mod? Because it doesn't just translate, like, the English text on screen into something else. I'm just confused as to what it translates. But yeah, give me more info on uh, on the Discord if you're part of it already. Also, if you're not... Uh, go to, this goes to everyone else. If you're not part of the Discord already, uh, link's in the description. Check it out. I, I don't remember the last time I plugged my Discord, but we lost we lost our partner status. So I'm... I'm we gotta... I gotta grind back to get the... Uh, get uh, partner status again. <laughs> so you guys want to join the Discord, be sure to do so. Uh, what did I just get? I don't even, I don't know what I just got. Was it a Toppin? Anyway, let's go Sticky. Also, early version of Sticky Cheese. This song kind of, I don't, this, is this a, did this song get reused later on? I don't remember. Kind of slaps. Uh, I don't know what I got. Anyway, oh, it was probably a piece of coin. It's probably what it was. So it doesn't really matter. My entire career of a mod for you is just deep cuts. Just a whole bunch of deep cut references. Hell yeah. Very early version of Peppy Bot Factory, though the internal name of this level and the final versions are different. Yeah. Hey, you very cool. I cannot. I was pressing the I was holding the wrong button for uh for sprinting. Thank you, hey you person. Another five. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for the super chats. Very generous. Thank you. Yeet. Cat away. Uh, I guess I don't need to bother with the pizza coins because I already... Because I already did them. Oh, can I uh, high five it still? Oh, yeah. So there's... I talked about this in my video, but unused mechanic for the, for the hand things. Where if you slap them, they give you a nice little high five. Love that. That's awesome. I like that a lot, actually. It's so funny. I like there's like two, one or two levels that I played so little in Pete. Like in the final version of Pete's Tower, it's this one and the the one with all the ghosts. I think I've only played it once, like when I played it on stream, and I haven't played it since. And that was like over a month ago. So I legitimately just like it's gone from my memory. I don't remember those levels like at all. I was watching like my old streams um, the other day. I was like, I do not remember playing this <laughs> like at all. Like, obviously, I can see myself playing it, but I'm like, I do not remember this at all in the slightest. My username is Pluto. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. I spent hours of my life stomping on cheese slimes and 
copas, the local laundromat. Are you guys excited for the Mario movie? I haven't been yet. I'm kind of going into it just like no expectations, but uh, I'm hoping it's good. A lot of the critics this uh, today have kind of... I think the average score is like 47 or something uh, on... I almost said IMDB on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, which, of course, take with a grain of salt, but... But, uh, I don't know. I hope, I hope it's good. I just don't really have much expectations for it. I love watching your old streams. Thank you. Yeah, chat. Go check out my uh, second channel if you haven't, or my second and third and fourth channels if you haven't yet. Uh, I've been uploading the Pizza to Tower streams. Just I've just been leaving them on the main channel, but for uh, most other early streams, um, they will be on uh, Touch of a Replay, my VOD channel. Sorry, I'm kind of lost. Where am I supposed to go? I already did that. I'm fairly certain. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I feel like I've went every direction. What am I? What am I missing here? Uh, pretty sure I've went there. What's over here? But as you can see, chat, a lot of the old mechanics were definitely focused more around, uh, like, it, the levels weren't built around speed. Uh, like, there's, there's definitely a little bit more of, like, a, a I, don't know, I don't know if you'd call this puzzle, but, like, more, more puzzle-oriented than, uh, than the final game, at least. At the, at the very least. Yeah, I'm so lost right now, dude. Yo, what's up, Hekis? 21 months. Wow, thank you. What's the flavor today? Uh, today is G Fuel flavor. Good question. Thank you. I, I guess we didn't talk about it earlier. Uh, it's a scoop of caffeine-free peach, divine peach, and then a full scoop of sour demonade. So it's like a... I essentially made a, uh, my own DIY uh, peach lemonade G Fuel, which, which slaps. Ah. All right. Thank you for asking, and thank you for the uh, 21 months. Wow. Did I go this way? I did go this way. Oh, where am I going, dude? I'm so lost right now. I can see why they re remade this level. Did I have the key? I didn't. Wasn't, where's my preview? I can't see if I have the key. It's blocked by the live button. I'm, I, I must have picked it up earlier, but I didn't think I had it. So, Well, there we go. Now we know. <laughs> Now we know. This song goes hard, dude. Music music in these builds. I mean, music in this whole game goes hard, but. Yeah. The, 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 such good music, man. Okay, so I think I have to come back through this way. There's another there's another key there. Is that like Donkey Do I hear a Donkey Kong sound effect? Sounded like the the monkey sound effects from Jungle Japes. Oh god. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm just hearing things, but it sounded like Donkey Kong sound effect. Which, if so, hell yeah. Is Pizza Time a thing in this build, or is it just the keys? Uh, a version of Pizza Time exists. I don't think it's called Pizza Time yet. I'm gonna get better at these jumps. Uh, so, but you do have to return back to the start, if that's what you're asking. Who is that from? Uh, from Rock Light. Love the uh, profile picture. I mean, I mean, Rock obviously is Mega Man as well, but Rock Man. Speaking of Rock Man, chat, I'm so excited for uh, man. Ca I've been thinking about it. Capcom has been just like popping off the last two years for me. Like Monster Hunter, Resident Evil Four, uh, flipping. I want to do an experiment. Can I open this door without the key? No, okay. Uh, Resident Evil, Mega Man, Monster Hunter. It's been popping off for games for, for me. Dang it. Okay, uh, there's a certain way I have to do this. I got to remember how. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to get squished. I think that's the, that's the meme. Peppy Bot, what are you doing? You fool! Okay. okay, we're at the top, so there's what, two more top ins somewhere? Okay, and we get this one here, I guess. Okay, do I want the cheese? I probably do. 
I don't... Is, is she slime clinging onto conveyor belts thing in the final game? I legitimately don't remember the factory level. Like, I almost 0% remember, remember it. Mega Man movie when? That'd be funny. I hope they would, like, on purpose make it, like, goofy and use, like, the, the old European NES art. That'd be sick. Okay, am I supposed to get squished? Excuse me? Can I... What? What do I do? What do I do? Do I just have to bait it? Uh, okay, that's, I guess what I had to do? Sure. Anyway. Funi Cooley. Fun fact, the tutorial in the final builds music has Funi Cooley made by... Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Um, it's... Uh, whose first name is legitimately Pepino? No, it's... Um, Hang on, we, we just talked about it. The, the, the original, it's called Funikuli Funikula by Dim Witty. He's the guy that made the song. But it uses, yeah, Wario Land 4 sound font, which is so funny. I don't know, is Pepino like a real name? Is there anyone actually named Pepino? I don't know, or is that just like a joke meme name that was made? Genuinely curious. Uh, oh, hang on, we have to go that way for the... For the dang key. I messed up, chat. I messed up. I was supposed to fall down the hole. Oh, we have to go here as... Uh... Do I have to? Hang on. Yeah, I can. Or can I? Hang on. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess... I think we have to come here as the... As the pizza box. I'm gonna cheese it, though. I know you're, you're normally supposed to, like, go back, but I'm gonna... I'm going to try and... Cheese this. There we go. I don't think you're supposed to do it that way. <laughs> I think you're supposed to uh, go all the way back and around, but I think that's a that's an easy way to cheese it. Here we go. We're getting PBZ two lost bits. Uh, eventually, I don't know when. Maybe later this year. I do plan on doing it. I just don't know when. Oh dang it! I don't want to get the cheese. I don't want to get the cheese part two. Stop. Can I just keep going? Okay, I can. I was going to say, do I have to get rid of it? I guess not. Uh, so we did that door. No! I don't know why it's, I find it so tough to time the, uh, time the timing for that. Man, the bass line goes hard in this song. I don't know, I don't think I've ever like paid attention to it, but that goes quite hard. Am I gonna do a Garden of Ban Ban Lost Bits? No. I'm not really interested. Game's lame, I find. Alright, here we go. Time to feed. Jonathan Pillar. Yeet. Yeet the toppins. There you happy. You also don't like bust him up. He's kinda just happy and goes about his day. Also, noise TV. Yeet. Yeah, you literally beat the level by destroying Noises' satellite thing. <laughs> noises calling, pick up phone. Noises calling, pick up phone. What a meme chat. I really wish Noise... I mean... He doesn't have a small... Well, he has a much smaller role in the final than he does in a lot of the pre-release builds. Um... Like, he doesn't, he used to appear, like, almost every level. Escape. Alright, chat. That looks like escaping time. <laughs> you did it. You stopped our daily dose of noise TV. Brought to you by noise. I gave you a high five. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. High five. This half gets squished here, right? There we go. That was an easy escape. That one's a, that's a quick, quick escape. So uh, there's also apparently a uh, oh, that was a Halloween demo. There's there's a way to unlock a dance room. I have not. I don't know how to unlock that. I'll have to look into that. But, but not this build. The previous build we played. There's a hidden unlo unlockable dance room. I don't know how to get it though. I'll have to 
Have to do some research into that, I guess. I don't know if you have to get like an S rank or something. All right. Anyway, uh, before we move on to the next one, I just want to try. I just want to try and show you. Oh, I try to change my. I keep forgetting how to do that. But there's a way on the title screen to change your palette. But I want to show you the the challenge run for this. This is like one of the hardest challenge runs in the game. Like it's pretty tough, actually. And also, the, this one is even worse because if you mess up in the second room, you uh, you get sent back to the first area. So, yeah, I'm already screwed. I'm already screwed, chat. Let's try that again. I guess you can press the D-pad on the title screen to change colors. Is that what it is? It's just, this one's so tough, dude. And it's so unforgiving. Yeah, like, you mess up one thing, you... you can, you got it. You really... And it doesn't have a restart thing. That's not another thing. If it had, like, a quick restart, that's fine. But you have to waste, like, five seconds of your life just to restart it. Oh, that one. I'll try this again. I'll try this again. I just want to kind of show you the... Hmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh... I'll try it one more time. <laughs> it's so hard, chat. It's like so precise where you have to jump to avoid this, the plug things. There we go. Okay. I'm definitely not going to make it because I already messed up twice or whatever, but I just want to get past this part. Okay. We made it. We made it to this floor. I guess this one you do want the, the slime. So you have to do more wall jumping. Damn, son. Can't try that again. Oh, what? What? How did I lose my... What? I, like, lost my ability without taking damage. That was so weird. Hey, you got a good. Hey, you got a good. See you next time. I sent the file and description. Okay, I'll try one, one more. One more attempt. Probably what I'll have time for. Username, there is Pluto. Hope you have fun. Oh, God. This is so I sent the file and description in the Discord and pinged you. My username, there is Pluto. Hope you have fun. Thank you. I'll check it out. And thank you again for the super chats. Okay, apparently I suck at this one. Apparently I suck at this one, chat. Damn. Well, that's that build. <laughs> that is demo two, uh, which introduced the factory level. All right, chat. Moving on. We're moving on to the next one. Uh, which is what's after demo two after demo two is the Christmas race Okay, I do want to spend some time on this one because I was playing it yesterday for a bit and it is another very difficult and frustrating uh, Build which as you'll see in a sec It's uh, it's a me. It's a big meme <laughs> So this, this was a joke build that was apparently made for the pizza tower discord, which is apparently Hasn't been deleted, but a lot of the chats have, I think have been Archived, or not even archived. I think they're just gone. Um, but uh, yeah, this is an old Christmas build from uh, 2018, still. So still 2018. Uh, colloquially known as the Grinch build for reasons we'll see later. But yeah, you spawn in as a festive Pepino by default. Uh, which is pretty epic. Also, you'll see these uh, very crude trees drawn. The nice Santa Claus uh, waving in the background. Uh, both as a as a verb and uh, the image itself is waving and then we have these large snowman graphics Which if you're wondering what they do touching them <laughs> immediately restarts the level and that's that's not the only one that you see uh, And that's what makes this very frustrating. I think there's only two screens, but It's it, it, there's a lot of really precise movement and jumps that if you if you mess up you're, uh, you're Not gonna have a good time <laughs> You're just not gonna have a good time, but I do want to try. I don't know if I'll beat it I do want to give it a fair attempt because I got I got to the second aerial yesterday But I didn't end up beating it and I would like to get at least close So this we'll, we'll probably spend at least some time on this one Woo! Let's go chat. Okay, that's a scary one So even if I touch it in this even if I touch the snow fellas in this screen um, you still get sent back to the previous area, so there's no like checkpoint. You still have to uh, play well, essentially. Do I need all the toppings? I hope I don't need all the toppings. I hope I don't need them all. 
Also, you don't have. There's no attacks. There's no attack moves. So I can't like I can't even kill. No. <laughs> uh, it's a very early version of Oregano Desert. Yes. So it doesn't look like a desert level, but the layout is similar to the old version of Oregano Desert, which we'll conveniently see in, I believe, the next build or one of the one of the upcoming builds. This is the first time they introduced the. Uh, the uh, oregano desert. Chat this one. This one's this one's frustrating. Yeah, this is this is something of nightmares, dude. You just see the uh, creepy Santa and the creepy <laughs> flickering snowman. No, <laughs> I jumped too early. <laughs> That's so sad. That is. So so sad. Oh, hello, bit girl. Girl that is a bit. Alright. Yeet. 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 Oh, that, that, that one's tough because, like, it, you have to time the jump on those, like, little happy face things or whatever they are so precisely to jump. I just wish, I really wish, I mean, if it's only a two or three screen level, it's, it's whatever, but I, re I really still wish there was a checkpoint or something. Maybe I should slow down for that section. And my nose is getting itchy. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> the pineapple fellow like tripped me up. That was just a bad spawn. Yeah, and your time. So you have three minutes to clear the whole level. Uh, which I don't know if that's a generous amount of time or not. Because I haven't gotten to the end yet. But I just don't know if how much that lets you uh, slow down or not. Okay, gotta be patient on this one so I don't get bonked. Okay, woo. Okay, so for this one, I think I have to like wall run. Oh no, hang on. I think I have to like kill these guys, or I was so I should have killed them. So I, I do need to build up speed here. I don't think I can build it up like that. I think I need more runway. Um. Okay. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time with this one. I don't know if I'll have enough time to beat it, but. Okay, at least I didn't die. At least I didn't die. We'll take that. Well, I guess I should be. Oh, shoot, I should be super jumping. I'm not running up the wall. Like, oh, stop! This stupid pineapple. I can't even kill him. Why do I take damage hitting his head? It's not that spiky. I just hate that I can't just slap him or throw him or anything. There we go. Okay. Gaming. Gaming. Oh, man. What is that? What do I do? Can I even do this? Okay. Hang on, I have to uh, somehow avoid that. But no! <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I was as close. Oh, man. Okay, that's, that's as far as I've ever gotten. What was that? Dancing thing. That was so weird. Okay, I can do the first room pretty well now. That's second area, though, chat. That's no joke, man. That is no joke at all. I don't know what to do there, though. Okay, I'm getting better. So frustrating. Okay, so do I just jump over it? YOLO! No! <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Do a super jump, press shift. Is that it? I don't know if that's a thing in this build yet. Let me see. I don't think that's a thing in this build yet. Yeah, you can't, you can't do the mid-air, like this, the stall move yet. 
you're mid-air, you, you kind of just go until you hit a hit a ceiling. I don't think you can do the shoulder dash yet, yeah. Unless it's like a different way of doing it. Do a super jump and press shit. I... Okay, I'll, I'll do it on keyboard controls, because I don't, I, I don't know keyboard controls, but I'll do it for you guys. Super jump, press shift. No, I just tried it. It doesn't work. Super jump, press... Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't know what. I'm, a, I'm actually a legend at that first room now. Except <laughs> I immediately get sucked. Okay, let's try that again. Yay. I am a raid shadow legend. You might have completely screwed up. Can I salvage this? I don't know. Can I salvage this? Let's see. You can. Let's go. Okay. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes. Uh, from Rex, a Tetrabit guy. I beat Pizza Tower today. Let's go. Congrats. That's awesome. Not the easiest game to beat, for sure. So that's a... I'd say that is a, quite the accomplishment. I think I think I legitimately just need to... Uh, I think I just need to do a jump, but... Like, time it well. Yes! I don't know if I want to touch the guy, though. I don't know if that's going to kill me or not. Is that, that that must be the Grinch, right? Like some fan art of the Grinch? Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is that? What am I looking at? I just don't know if it'll kill me or not. What does that say? It's claws. It sure is. I have not seen this before. That's so funny. It sure is claws. It sure is. <laughs> Who made this and why? I gotta take it easy. I don't wanna. I don't wanna die here. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Oh, there's banana peels and stuff. Oh my god. Okay. I'm assuming I should just jump over the entire thing rather than like land on it. Oh no! <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. So there's, that must be the last room though, right? I hope. Okay. It's okay. We made progress. We've seen stuff we haven't seen before. And uh, we are gaming. Okay, first room's a breeze. Second one, if I can like get a better feel for that, uh, if I can get a better feel for that. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. If I can get a better feel, oh my god, for the. Um, can I stop? For that jump, sorry, I, I don't know why I can't think of what to say. If I can get a better feel for that jump, then I think we'll be all right. Okay, <laughs> it's still so stressful, man. I'm gonna get the... Jeez. There's just, I can't see where the collision is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it this way and the way I did it last time. I can't see like where I can jump and not jump. If you ever do the Google Translate mod, can you please make it a VOD? My schedule's a little random. I don't want to miss a stream. Uh, sure, I can't guarantee that I'll make a VOD out of it. But if I do, um, I mean, I'll see. I, I can't promise anything. But if uh, if I think it's VOD worthy, I I don't see why not. But uh, yeah, sorry. I, I unfortunately can't promise anything. But but uh, that sounds cool. Hey, you really cool. Okay, so I'm assuming. Oh, no! Why is that a thing? I got debated so hard, chat. Don't bother with the top ends. There isn't a pillar John room in this level. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I can't believe I got debated like that. How close... If anyone knows, how close am I to beating it? How close am, is one to beating that? I assume that's the last area, right? Or is there more? God, I hope there's not more. Okay, progress. Progress. 
Okay, thank you for the super chats, though. Very, very much appreciated. Okay. No! Oh, I hesitated! No, I had it, and I stopped holding the left button. Oh, baby, a triple. Tetra, what build is this? This is the Grinch build, also known as the Christmas Race build, I believe. A Christmas Race, or colloquially known as the Grinch build. Because it has Grinch. <laughs> because it has the Grinch. Oh, I would have moved on by now, but we're getting so close that I, I do want to... Uh, like, I want to know what the best like what the best, best strategy for that area is. It, it must be, like, sticking on the top... And, um, sticking on the top and avoiding the bananas, which I assume the easiest way to do that is to, uh, uh, avoid those platforms, like, just jump over those platforms entirely. But that's the thing, it's, like, it's timed, it's, like, there's so much to worry about, but I, I guess I do have lots of time. I have, like, two and a half minutes, which is a lot. Hooah! All right, so yeah, don't bother with the toppins. I will stop bothering with them. Like, I, 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 I'm sure if I touch a banana peel, I will slip into a snowman. Oh, baby. Okay, there's more. There's more. Okay, I remember this room from the uh, from Oregano Desert for sure. Whoa, okay, I think that's my. I don't know. If I think that's my limit there. I'll try one more time, but that's a little. That's a little much, chat. That's a little much. That's a little much. I, I don't want to spend all day on this build. We still have lots to get through, but. I'll give it like one more good attempt. Like if we can get to that room or close to it, we'll call that a good attempt. Okay. Uh, someone said I missed the top. Yeah, we're not bothering with the toppins. So we don't need them, apparently. They're just a nice bonus, but I I I'd rather get to the end of the level than uh, faster than we're able to toppins, to be honest. That's still probably the scariest jump. Okay, so this room isn't too bad once you kind of know what to do. Oh, no! I would No! <laughs> Let's try that again. I didn't think I was going fast enough to kill the enemy. I thought I was just going to bump it. Oh, that's too bad. I must have, like, just got enough speed. Like, within, within a second. I just want one good attempt. That's all I asked for. Stop. I hate those pineapples. Just kidding, they're actually really cool. I take it back. Oh my god. No, are you kidding? <laughs> Chat, I'm now determined to do this. Well, I guess I want one good attempt. Like if we can get to the if we can get to the fourth floor or whatever, I'll take it. Okay, chilling. I've gotten a lot better at this section. I gotta say, I, at least I think so. I didn't press up, man. The D-pad is so finicky. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, let's take this nice and not necessarily slow, but nice and controlled. Okay. I, th I think two minutes is a lot of time. I don't know. Oh, boy. How did that not count? How did that not count? Okay. What is the best strategy here, though? Like, what can I possibly do? What can I? What? What could I possibly do? I thought I did a long jump last time, but 
apparently not long jump enough. Hmm. Guess I'll just have to try it again. Hang on, I'll get. I'm just gonna make sure I have Mach 5. What do I do? I need to see that preview. What do I do there? It just seemed like the whole thing was. What do I do there? There was like nothing I could do. Anyway, that's the Grinch build. I'm sure there's gameplay on YouTube of someone actually beating it. I, I, I mean, I did better today than I did last time, but we'll leave it there. I w normally would spend more time on it, but we have lots more to go through, so we'll move on. Moving on, chat. Moving on to the next one. Oh, that one's like, it's it's a good challenge. Like, there, well, minus the last one. I feel like most of the time, like, it's your fault if you mess up. It's like a good challenge, you know? You know Flying Battery Zone is Pog? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't like it. Anyways, chat, before we move on to the next one, let's open a pack of Pokemon cards. Again, we got our Crown Zenith box. That I spent a whopping bajillion dollars. 40, 46.99. Ooh, we get a big, big Pikachu card. Yeah. And we'll just open the one pack for now. We'll do we'll do more as we swap between uh, builds. But <laughs> at the start of the stream, I was like, oh, we'll do one in between each build. And it's like our, what, fourth or fifth build already? And we haven't done it yet. All right. One, two, three, four to the front. Oh, sorry. I'm leaning too far back. All right. Lightning energy. Some trainer, can't read, electric, rescue carrier, Ponyard, Tangela, or something, Baltoy, Meowth, Whalmer, Digging Duo, that's the one we saw earlier, and, yo, Mew V, all right, that's a good start, chat, that is a nice little Mew to get, hell yeah, nice dude, we'll take that, we'll take that, we take those, chat. It's gonna be so weird opening the new set because like all the cards are like have a gray background instead of the uh, yellow one that we're, I'm so used to. All right, chat. That was the Grinch build. Now we're moving on to what's next? Monthly build one, the first Patreon build. Uh, monthly build one. So now we're into 2019. So from about four and a bit years ago. As soon as I get the game up here, we'll be good to switch back. All right, Memnob, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you hanging out. All right. I might have to turn this one up a little bit because I think I turned it down yesterday. Oh, no, I did not. It's kind of quiet, though. Why is it so quiet? Why is this one so quiet? <laughs> Weird. Okay, well... Crank it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too loud. This one's just very quiet. Anyway. Um, so yeah, this is... January 2019 build. So this one was a Patreon exclusive. Uh, let's see what this adds. So yeah, so immediately what we'll notice is there's a pizza behind Pepino. And this was actually a health meter. So this one, Pepino can actually die. Pepino actually, you, um, not all attacks take one meter. But however many, however many, however much damage an attack does, Pepino can die. And the only way to heal is using, um, you can find pizza slices throughout the level. So it's, it's pretty, it's a lot tougher, I find, compared to the other ones. Uh, also, we have the other two levels we've already seen, the Ancient level and the Factory level, but it also adds an early version of the Desert, which, I mean, <laughs> is the, the first part is exactly the same as the one we just played. It's like, or at least the layout is very similar to the, uh, the Grinch level, uh, as we'll see. Okay, the, the music got, like, much louder. I'm going to turn it back down. So I guess just the title screen was quiet. That's really weird. 
Turn it down. The volume knob on my keyboard is kind of busted. Pretty annoying. Uh, but yeah, so this is where the, uh, the It's Claws thing was on the last one. So yeah, kind of interesting that, that they just reused that. I'm just gonna cheese this. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do it the normal way. Uh, but at least I guess we have some practice with doing this, so we're kind of in the know-how. I think we entered the wrong, like we entered on the opposite side of that room in the in the in the demo build. Also, yeah, I guess we have the dash attack now, which is pretty sweet. I guess we didn't have that last build, which it's interesting though. You just go straight across. I believe in the final game, you there's still gravity, like it still goes down. But I guess in this build, if you just dash straight across, it's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll kind of blaze through this. Yeah, so early version of Oregano Desert. This is seen in uh, several upcoming builds that we'll play through um, in one way or another. They kind of updated it. Old version of golf here, kind of. Before before golf was even a thing. I mean, we'll get to that later again, but that was like a very early iteration of the golf theme of hitting the nerd guy into... Uh, of, hit, of hitting him into the uh, basketball net thing. Also, we have a combo meter now. I don't think we've seen that in the builds yet so far. It's, there's both a hit meter and a combo meter, which is kind of kind of redundant. Uh, I don't know why you would need both. Also, the uh, momentum is definitely different. You lose a lot of speed by jumping and then touching ground, which is kind of annoying. Also, yeah, the, the whole the whole cave of getting into this area is different. Later on, it's much different. Uh, you enter, you, you'll enter it in in an area where you see the uh, Kentucky Lennies or whatever. Can, is it Kenny or Lenny? Which one's the? Which one's the one? Which one's the one that uh, is the used one? There's one unused variant and one used one. There we go. So yeah, very. I think this. Yeah, this, I guess besides the Grinch, this is the earliest version of the. Oregano Desert stage. Also, we have the old version. Oh, I forgot to mute the... No, never mind. That is the game music. I thought I forgot to mute the, the YouTube remix. Oh, yeah, but we still have the old version of John Pillar. So I guess they reverted in this build back to the old style of there not being John Pillar. And instead, you finish the level by collecting the treasure at the end. Which is interesting because they, they kind of started with that and then went away from it, introducing John Pillar and then... Kind of uh, went back that way. So weird. The music, I guess maybe just because the intro, but like the music is like all over the place. One minute it's like too loud, one minute it's too quiet. Super weird. It's weird that it like blocks off secrets as you like when you're doing pizza time it kind of blocks off areas not that one for some reason but like the other ones like oh if you didn't get it the first time too bad you ain't, you ain't getting it this time so those ones aren't blocked weird some of them were earlier some aren't whoops whoops also not a lot i mean the, the level is shorter but it doesn't give you much time to get back I've been going pretty quick. There we go. Easy game. Pepino the Chef Sailor Pyre Man. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much chef. But about how many? Man, still can't believe, still can't believe you got a fifty dollars super chat. That's crazy, chat. Uh, but yeah, I think that's most of the new stuff seen in this build. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Yeah, so okay, I guess I'll show the, the early health meter. Oh, I see the Amogus, the A. I didn't notice that at first. <laughs> That's what you guys were saying. I never noticed that until you guys pointed it out. Now I can't unsee it. But yeah, so... Um, why am I not taking damage? Did she slimes not damage you? Okay, maybe I'll get a, I'll get a real enemy to come fight me. <laughs> Do they just not damage you in this build? All right. Uh, something is bound to be able to damage me, though, right? The the uh, thrower fellas. 
surely these guys must damage me, right? Sorry, just, oh my god, I can't even... Uh, I literally cannot even chat. A Mogus? Can't believe I never noticed that. Okay, let's see. Can these guys not damage me either? Am I just invincible? That's not really funny. I was gonna say like, it's funny that when I want to get damaged, I can't. <laughs> uh, is there nothing in this build that can damage me? I mean, I think the health meter is in future builds too, but I'm just surprised that nothing damages me here. Is there no other enemies? Nothing else damages me. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, hang on. this this has to. Okay, there we go. Finally, something that can damage me. Okay, so yeah, you get one hit. I guess each one takes a slice away. Seems like uh, I'm not gonna die yet because I just want to find a pizza slice to show that that's how you heal. Oh, I guess the cheese slimes might not kill me by touching me, but they can bounce me into something that can kill me. Uh, is this golf demo? No. Golf demo also, I believe, uses parts of the background, but of uh, Oregano Desert, but and it's definitely more golf themed. So yeah, so pizza slice, collecting it. There we go. We healed a little bit. Crazy, awesome. Okay, uh, but now let's let's take let's take the yeets and see what happens. Oof. Rip. <laughs> and you just get sent back to the, the hub world. There we go. Also, very early hub world. Actually has the, the doors for all the levels in a different way than before. Um, starting to get more similar a little bit. It's getting there to, to how it is in the final. It's, it's getting there slowly. Anyway, that is the January build. And what comes after January, chat? Why March, of course. Right? March comes after January. That's how it works. That's how it works, chat. Can mods create polls on YouTube or is that only on Twitch? Just wondering. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you're, you should, if you're able to, you should see it somewhere. Um, but if you're not, I'm, I, I genuinely don't know. If you, if you see the option, great. If not, then I guess probably not. All right, chat. So this is March build. Can you do Demo 3 build? I don't think Demo 3 is a build. You might be thinking of something else. I don't think any build is called Demo 3. As far as I know. So this is the March build. Let's see what's different here. Uh, so first, bit of, bit of fun fact here. This is the first build. Let's switch to the actual build so you guys can see it. This is the first build that was made in Game Maker 2 instead of Game Maker 1. Uh, I believe, yeah. So this one doesn't have... This one doesn't have the hub world. We just have like an instant uh, level select. Why? Hang on, I'm just checking my notes. Why? It actually already existed. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, so <clears throat> some new levels that we haven't seen yet. We have Mansion, we have Sewer, and Freezer. So we'll play those a little bit. We probably won't play through all of them because that'll take a bit too much time. But we'll kind of get through it. <sighs> all right. <clears throat> so this is very similar to John Gutter. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily an early version of it. It's kind of like <clears throat> bits of like John Gutter and also bits of, is it loud? It sounds kind of loud, but also bits of, I might be too quiet, of like Pizza Scape. Uh, 
But yeah, we have the health meter again, so I, I kind of do have to be careful of, uh, of taking damage here. Don't want to get zucked. I guess you don't take damage if you're in uh, the knight armor. Do I have the jab? Okay, we still have the jab attack. Cool. So yeah, we'll kind of play through it. Um, whoops, need the key apparently. Definitely, definitely seems like Pizza Escape though, doesn't it? It's like, to me, it seems like an early version of Pizza Escape and John Gutter. Also, we have the the, the grind rails, which is kind of interesting. Also, definitely wall running was like an intended mechanic here, as uh, so we definitely have like. Uh, He definitely... Oh, can I go up there? Is that a thing? I don't think I can go up there. I don't think there's any way I can build up enough speed. Yeah, I just lose my speed. Can I dash out of this? No, okay. Okay, I don't know if I need to go up there. I don't know if that's a thing. Do you think Pepino would be... How do you think Pepino would be in Super Smash Bros? Ooh, I, I feel like there's enough to make a moveset for Pepino. I could see it working. I don't think it's likely at all, but I, I could see it working, at least. I saw someone made a ROM hack for Mario 64 with Pepino, and it's not just like a swap. It actually has like a, a unique moveset. Uh, so that'd be cool to check out sometime. The hole is meant for a tumbling rock that will follow you in a mansion. Gotcha. Okay. Let's go, dude. Also, obviously, I have some new enemies that we haven't seen yet. Uh, the tomato fire fellas. They definitely do have a name. Do I remember what it is? No. Wow, okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. Sorry, sorry, nerd, whatever the cheese nerd's name is. Whoops. <clears throat> there we go. Cruising along. Do I like Pepsi? Ah, uh, it's fine. I prefer Coke over Pepsi, but, oh God, are you kidding me? I hate the fork, I hate the fork knights so much, dude. They're my least favorite enemy in the game. Oh my god, are you kidding? Uh, do I have to go all the way around? Probably. Oh man. <laughs> the momentum in this build is so frustrating. Like you you just like touch the ground if you're not running at a high enough speed and you just lose all your speed. Yeah, see like you just kind of stop. Yeah, at least there's no enemies to bamboozle me this time. No! <laughs> apparently there's... Apparently I don't need enemies to get bamboozled. I just need... A literal gap in the floor. There we go. Jeez. Wait, do I even need this? Oh, there's no... Oh, I guess I did. There's no sliding in this build. Weird. Like you, um... As a knight, you don't slide when you touch stairs. Weird. It's always in older builds. I guess they try changing it around for a bit. I hate fork knights. Will I do Sage 2019? Yes. We won't do the full thing, uh, but I will show off like Snake and stuff for a bit. Maybe we'll do a bit of Snake's challenge. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, here we go chat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've gone this far in Mansion yet. Wait, I played parts of it, but I never, I don't think I've ever uh, got through it far enough. 
Oh, I guess I have to get that in pizza time. I have to do some wall running. Some wall jump running. I hate pork nights. Thingy to say, golf is the first demo play with playable noise. Uh, I saw that on the Pizza Tower Discord, but that's not actually accurate. Uh, this is actually the first build with playable noise. I don't know if someone just didn't know that. Or maybe they meant, like, first public build? Because this is uh, still technically a Patreon build. I guess we got Pizza Tower here. Or Pizza Time, sorry. I love how they just default to using the, the peanut butter as the treasure. <laughs> it's like so not related to... Uh... Oh, I died. Forgot about the health meter. Well, there you go. There you go, chat. Okay, well, we got through the level. We got through the whole level at least. So that's, that's a thing. Uh, what else was there? Sewer. So the earliest version of Sewer... Well, sorry, I don't want to say earliest, but that we've seen so far in the builds that are documented. I guess I have to preface that with almost everything I say. Because there are builds that just, they exist, they just haven't been documented. So there's people out there that have them. This is so loud. Holy crap. The mixing is very good, chat. <laughs> the mixing is very even. Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say, but yeah, <laughs> it was, I'm sure it was something important. What was the point of that? But yeah, so we have, the, we have, the, I guess these are the unused trash can enemies. Um, and that's the original way you'd get turned into a cheese ball, which was definitely changed. This was a kind of mediocre level in the game, I found, the, the sewer level. Dude, the guitar is so loud. Who mixed this? Who thought the mix was good? It's so loud. It's so loud, dude. Oh, I guess I can't just hide under that. Yeet the trash can. Let's go. Hey, gotta remember I still have the health meter. This is so so loud, dude. Before I go there, I don't know if I want to go there yet. Oh, it's a Ninja Turtle pizza. I assume I want to be turned into a cheese ball, right? I hope, yeah, okay. <laughs> we got the unused cheese ball blocks. I don't know. Play, I don't know if I'll play through the whole level. No, what was I supposed to do? There's a top in there. Do I care enough? Kinda, but. Oh, am I immune if I'm the knight? Interesting mechanic. I don't think this is seen in the game, is it? How do I? Okay, so I can't I can still The timing on these is weird, man. Okay, I don't really care about the top in. No! Okay, anyway, that's the early sewer level. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with that again. Uh and so this is the first build that's documented that has playable noise. Uh who doesn't have his like reworked moveset yet but does function a bit differently, at least, compared to Pepino. Definitely builds up speed faster. At least, sorry, I don't want to say def, I don't, I don't want to use definitive words like that, but it seems like builds up speed faster. Like, it seems like I build up Mach to Mach 3 real quick, or Mach whatever. I guess, I guess there's no speed speedometer this time around. I'm almost dead already, dude. I really gotta take it easy here.
That ain't good, chat. I'm almost dead. Okay. I'm gonna play it kind of safe now. Woo! Let's kill this guy first. Yeah, I was hoping that'd be a pizza slice. I really need pizza slices. I have one HP. Yeah, so this stage, like, forces you to play as the noise. Whether you want to or not. For better or for worse, don't die. No! <laughs> okay, I'll try that again. I want to try that one. That one is a bit... That was a bit too short. I'll, I'll be a bit more, uh... Careful this time. Also, it's like a glide move. That also is different, obviously, than Pepino. It does not have a glide move. Okay, I gotta be... I'm so used to being so careless about my HP. But I really have to be careful. Do I think Am Among Us memes are old? I guess, at this point. I don't see them as often as I used to. Does he have the wall jump thing in this game? Uh, or is that a future thing? Okay, no. Uh, future noise moveset. He gets a... Uh, wall jump thing where you can kind of cling to a wall which is pretty cool. Uh, in this build, Noise cannot go to Mach 3, so in all levels, the metal blocks will just break, except in this level because he has he has the watching match. In. I think I did hear that, yeah, uh, it's locked to Mach 2 for some reason. It's kind of weird. You like you, yeah. You build up the speed to get there faster, but I guess yeah. No, uh, can't get to Mach three. Eh. Do I need to get? What did I get in that room? Was it just the top end? That's probably what it was, wasn't it? Okay, I thought I thought that was death, but I guess that's where. Okay, I need to be careful. This is where I need to go, though. Ooh. I love that he uses, like, the, uh... He <laughs> busts out a helmet. Oh, yeah, so there's also an unused washing machine ability. I saw this yesterday and I was trying this out. So, unused transformation. You can, like, duplicate the washing machines? I don't really get it, but yeah, anyway, use it to break stuff. Here, at least. Really weird transformation, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, you got to you got to experience the washing machine, scrap the washing machine transformation. I'm still not great at Pizza Tower, but I've definitely gotten better at playing the game than when I first started. Uh, yo, Pizza Slice, let's go. How do I break? If I can't go mock whatever, how do I... How do I break? Or do I just not? Or do I just not break them? Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. That was such a debate. Okay, glide. The glide mechanic's cool. I think that'd be cool. If, if they ever do bring the, the noise as a playable character, I think that'd be a nice nice addition. I thought I jumped. That's weird. So can I just not go to the, the, the metal door areas then? All right. Oh, well, we died. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I would have enough speed to kill those things, but... <sighs> yeah, that's a thing. Again, use the washing machine to break metal blocks. Oh, is that what you meant to say earlier? The watching matchin was supposed to be washing machine? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Sorry, it was spelt way differently before. <laughs> oh, I see Cruel Angel uh, said that as well. It's through the washing machine. I only saw it the one time. Maybe it was in, maybe it was in the foreground in the other rooms too. I just didn't didn't make a note of it. Didn't make a note of it. All right. Yeah, I was like, what's a what? What's a watch and matching? <laughs> Watching matching. Uh, anyways, that is the March build. Uh, 
The next build isn't too different, but we'll quickly show it off anyway. Uh, the next build is an optimization test build, which was made about two weeks or so after the build we just did. Uh, let's see where it is. Optimization test. So yeah, I played through most of these yesterday and I kind of just made some, made some notes on them. So my notes for this one are... Uh, so this build introduced lap two portals. So like we talked earlier, the lap two used to work differently until around this build. Uh, in which they actually now do warp you back to, to the end of the level. Also, we have this weird meter at the top. It's like a FPS meter, but also has like a, some sort of usage meter. I don't know exactly what it is measuring, but it's there. What else does this have? Um... Same levels, I think. I don't know which. We'll kind of just play through it a little bit. Oh, I guess we have, yeah, we have the room on the side here. So I don't think this was introduced up until now. We have the rooms that have the portals to uh, lap two. That's kind of, man, this, oh, the mixing is so weird. It's just like quiet menu and then the music just pops off and just breaks my eardrums. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, will I play Plants vs. Zombies live? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. At least not PvZ1. Maybe one of the other ones. Why did I just stop? That was weird. Um, I kind of do want to show the warping, though. Well, I don't know. It's kind of the same as in the final game, but this level is kind of short, I guess. It's just, it's not much different. I guess we have the default yellow skin too, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I change that or if, uh, it's just defaulting to it. So it seems like sometimes it changes back to the white one. Yeah, when I do, when I do the dash tag, it goes back to white, which is really weird. Anyways, maybe I'll do, uh, maybe I'll quickly just show the lap two thing. Also, what is that 107? Is that an FPS meter as well? No, well, I don't know. It's different than the one at the top left. I just don't know what it's measuring. It's like hovering around 110? I have no idea. <laughs> I legitimately have no idea. Uh, it seems like there's a few more differences. There was like the, oh, that was weird. I did like a belly attack and it kind of bounced me back. Uh, there was like a, a door there in the in one in the previous build we saw. So I guess there's some there's some level never mind, that's the door I was thinking of there. Some level differences for sure. Like a few different blocks. I think I saw a metal block that wasn't there in the previous one that we checked out. Uh what else am I gonna see here? Oh god, don't fall. Okay, we're good. I just really want to show the warping thing. Do I have the gun yet in this build? Let's see. One of the builds randomly introduces Pepino having a, a, a pistol. It's not this one. Also, yeah, like, there's no UFO in the Regno Desert yet. That's something that gets added later. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's, probably, it's so frustrating if you messed it up the first time. Catch up on chat. Yo, what's up, Brock? How you doing? Damn it. Okay, I think it's the end of the level, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess you can't dash. You can't dash through the secret treasure chat. You have to. Uh, you do have to actually uh, hit it without dashing. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I also got to keep in mind, I only have three pieces of pizza health left. Like, I don't want to get so close to the end and then, or start, I should say, and then die. I think that's what happened last time, right? Yeah, the old, like, slapping around thing is really kind of finicky. It just, like, seems like it serves no purpose. Okay. 
Yeah, I really should boogie with the rest of the, the demos. We still have lots to go through. Might have started picking, choosing which ones I want to showcase more than the others. Yeah, that metal block being there is nice because, yeah, you don't have to go through that winding section. It's pretty sweet. Okay, still have three health. That's good. That do be pretty... What? Oh, there's a banana. The stupid banana always messes me up because I'm never ready for it, especially if you're going, like, max speed. Never ready for it. Anyway, okay, so start of the level. I'm not going to press up. I'm going to take the warp, which warps us back to the end of the level. Wow, crazy chat. <laughs> Just like in the final game. All right, moving on. We do be moving on. Let me uh, switch here. All right, what's after this one? You might, you might be wondering, chat. Uh, next is the April Fool's build. So April Fool's just happened as we're streaming this like, a couple days ago. Uh, but this is the April Fool's build of 2019, which is, of course, the golf demo. So we won't play through the whole thing. Because reasons. Because <laughs> uh, it's pretty tough. Well, it gets pretty tough towards the end. Um... Because I played through it yesterday. I just want to see if I can enable the things here yet. Uh, okay, so I can. Okay, I'll, I'll just have the fun mode. Just because. Uh, so pretty much the fun mode just lets you go through the level without having to uh, actually hit the, the fella around. So normally you'd have to pick him up. And you can only like kick him or throw him in one direction. Which makes a lot of these very difficult to do, actually. Um, so usually it was taking me like 30 hits to get through like one hole. So it's not the most epic thing in the world. But anyway, so just like the golf in the in the final version, you kick him around to get him to the go to the end hole. Also, very cool Doom inspired graphic that's inserted here. Welcome to golf. Yeah, we activated fun mode, so we'll just kind of cruise through that one. Uh, just for like footage sake, though. Yeah, you kind of grab him. You Throw them around and try to get to the other side. You can summon fake Pepino F5 or F6. It's F9, actually. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's F9 that lets you do that. Which I believe he shows up at the end, right? Let's see. Oh, no, he's just chilling there. But, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't chase you unless... Uh... So, was, was that the first time fake Pepino was, like, shown off? Anyway, uh, he doesn't chase you, I think, until you actually activate Pizza Time, which, for the sake of it, let's do it right now. Let's go activate Pizza Time. Man, the platforms are, like, so small. Like, the, the little dots. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. I'm so glad they had the fun mode. They call it fun mode, but it's literally just skip through the... The nonsense mode of this very of the very scuffed golf mechanics in this build. One of the hardest ones is like these ones with the uh, with the uh, lightning plug or like electrical plug things, uh, because if if the, the the nerd fella touches them, you have to restart the whole thing again. Super frustrating. What's up, Snick Gaming? What's up, real Snick? Okay, so now I believe, now I believe Fake Pepino is going to start chasing us. Uh-oh. Get back to the start. Yeah, I thought it was really cool the way the background changes too. Uh, Color-wise, and I guess the pizzas also look different. Oh, wait, do I have to spawn him now? Or is he just going to be in that one room? Oh, well, I guess we'll find him on the way back. I guess I should have waited till the end. Pesto Anchovy. Oh, yeah, the song slaps. Later, I guess, only heard if you're playing as... Uh, at least in the builds we've played so far. is If you're playing as uh, Vigilante. Okay, I think I spawned Fake Pepino around. I think it was the one before this. I want to get some footage of him chasing us. Dun, 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 this is like... I, did they include this in the game? I don't think they did. 
Like maybe in the sound test, but I don't think it's uh like it doesn't normally play at all if you uh are doing pizza time. The most fake Pepino, dude. Oh there he is. Oh! Oh I guess he waits for you at the start. Does he just chill there? He doesn't follow you around? Oh. Oh. I guess he's different. He doesn't like mimic your movement. He kind of just like chases you around but doesn't uh I'm like soft locked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it also resized my window. Well, that was the golf build. I guess on that note, that is the golf build. Uh I guess dying restarts the window or resets the window size, which is always good. All right, moving on. But yeah, fake Pepino is different. Like he, in the other builds, he kind of he mimics your movement and is always chasing you. This one kind of is like a regular enemy almost. Like still chases you, but doesn't mimic your movement. If that makes sense. Okay. Next build after golf chat is the desert build. Uh, where is the desert build? Sorry, I'm getting, getting lost in the music. Getting lost in the sauce. Uh, desert, there we go. Wait, no, wrong desert. <laughs> Whoops, wrong desert. Hang on. That's desert playtest. Where's the other desert one? Uh, desert, 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 desert. Oh, I have a separate hold for this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll just do the... There's like three different desert builds. We'll just do the main one, I guess, for today. It just gets so loud, dude. It just gets so loud. Why you have to be so loud? Okay. So this chat is the desert build. So apparently they kind of reworked some of the movesets. Uh, there's more to the hub world. It's kind of starting to get closer to how it is in the final. I haven't figured out how to how to get through John Pillar here. I, I have beat the desert level and it didn't open this like I thought it would. So there's obviously a door there. So I don't know how to get there, but maybe some of you do. So they kind of reworked parts of desert. It's very similar to the one we played. Uh, they kind of just added some stuff. Namely, they added some secrets. So I think, I think this is one of the first few builds that has secrets like this, at least. Uh, also got rid of the, the health system at this point. There's also these bikes. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to ride them. You can pick them up and they explode if you throw them, but I haven't found a way to like, ride them or anything, so I don't know if there's more to them than meets the eye. Is the music loud, chat? It's very loud for me, but let me turn down a little bit. Let me know if it's too quiet. I tried to join your channel and declined because I was a cent off. Dang. Yeah, I guess uh, no discounts with, with Google, unfortunately. <laughs> also, we have these uh, uh, TV monitors that contain the pizza slices now, which is pretty cool. It's kind of weird. Like, they made it easier to heal, but you no longer need to because there's no health bar anymore, you know? Uh, anyway, so this is, uh, I believe this build is the first one that introduces... Also, like, very different. Very different layout, even for this section. Uh, anyway, this is the first one that introduces the... I think the Pizza Marts as well as, which you don't have to do in this build. Later on you do have to because you have to get the key from it, but here you don't actually have to. Uh, but it introduces the UFO section towards the end of the level, which is pretty cool. Also introduce, introduces Kentucky Lenny or Kenny. Or I, I'm never going to remember which one's which now. I, think you, I guess you can actually control it now. Or in this build. I think in other builds, it's similar to the bomb from before, where you can only go in one direction until you... Until you... Hit a wall or whatever. So yeah, I do have some control over it, though. It's kind of cool. I don't think I knew that until just now. But yeah, thankfully we can skip most of the doors. Also, yeah, very different. I think the graphic for the cave entrance might be the same, but... Like, they resize it and stuff. And uh, this area is different, too. We'll see the boulders, which... Uh, I won't spoil it for those that haven't seen what it does yet, but... 
It is different even compared to later builds. There's so many things that just kind of like really just stop you from achieving greatness. Yeah, this section's different. This is where like this was the area that I had to like crawl under those things and build up a uh, rolling speed. I'm pretty sure. So it really changed up uh, the cave layouts and stuff. Oh no, never mind. This is the section. I lied. It's still different though. Also, it takes a long time for the music to reset. Weird. Uh, yeah, I think the UFO is. Yeah, yeah, so this used to be where the end of the level was. Yeah, this wasn't here in the previous builds yet. Uh, but we kind of go down. We have to go all the way to the right here. Dodge. No! No! Stop, dude. Okay, can I please? I need to build up enough speed. And then do this. There we go. Alright, now we're back in action. Now we are back in action. Thankfully we're not really like timed or anything, but be nice if I could have just done it faster, you know? Also, we don't want to get zucked with the fried chicken yet. Can I just pick you up, please? Thank you. Oh man, you do not jump very high while carrying a character. Now we get into the UFO. There we go. Uh, let's catch up on chat, see if I missed anything. Uh, can, Kenny is used, Lenny is unused. Okay, thank you, Lucaria. I will try. So Kenny, Kentucky, Kenny, both K. Okay, that, that makes it easier to remember. Kentucky, Kenny, Kentucky, Len, or sorry, Kentucky, Kenny is used. Both start with K. Okay. I'm trying to make a mental note of that. Oh, the game is overlaying my face cam. I guess it was resized. Here, let me fix that. Thank you for letting me know. I'm sure many of you did. It was ni like the older builds. It was nice. It was always the same size, but now it seems like uh, the builds have to like be resized every time, which is unfortunate. Okay, thank you though. I should have looked. I should have looked earlier. But yeah, UFO obviously different than uh, than how it is. actually have to and even like later prototype builds it's different so even later uh there's like kentucky kenny here that you have to deal with and not attack midair how do i hit this oh i just touch it okay anyway anyway oh it's silver ling i didn't oh man i didn't transition it. there we go okay man streaming's hard Ooh, a secret. I'm not going to go through it, but just for visual sake. Oh, it's an easy one. I'll go through it. It's, a, it's an easy one. It's an easy one. All right. Interesting. Like, I guess the old, like, conveyor belt things, you, they only activate if you run through them. I think in the, I believe in the final, right? Like, it doesn't matter if you're walking or running through them. They, uh... They'll still propel you forward. These ones, I guess, has, work slightly differently, it seems like. Damn it. Watching the stream on an empty stomach was a mistake. All I can think about is pizza and KFC. Yo, I feel that. I am very hungry. <laughs> I also have not eaten. I just had a protein shake after the gym. So my I haven't really had any like solid food yet. Uh, maybe after this build, I'll have my control bar. Get some... Also, yeah, pizza time activates differently. You just find a random box with uh, with um, the noise, and then you get the little noise bomb following you for the rest of the level. It's so weird. Like I, when I first found that, I, I wasn't ready for it because I was like, okay, like a random pizza box, okay. Then it just immediately becomes pizza time because reasons. The noise is there, and um, in this build, in the previous build, actually, no, sorry, this build, this build, the um, on the way to the end the the I thought I just died the rocks don't fall on you only during pizza time I guess the noise straps it with dynamite and then they start falling on you uh which is definitely different than how it is pretty sure I'm supposed to go through that box but whatever I hope I hope I can still make this work um yeah he kind of sets up the traps on the rocks 
only when you're going back. This is changed in later builds where they do fall on you when you go through them the first time, but kind of an interesting mechanic. We talked about it in my videos, but still think it's really cool. The noise bomb. Yeah, also you just have the noise bomb just hanging out. It doesn't. I don't think it does anything. Kind of just chills with you while you're uh, running back. I miss the anchovy version though. Oh, so there's no lap two in this build. I believe they do add one in one of the future builds, but also very weird seeing this without the music. <laughs> it's just very awkward seeing the the ranking screen without any music. Anyway, that's the desert build. Uh, other notes about it. Let's see. Yeah, like even if you beat it, it doesn't keep it doesn't track your top ins properly, and I don't know, you just can't progress. I guess. What console is Pizza Tower on? It's just on PC. No consoles yet, and no mobile yet. Um, so yeah, I guess this is one of the builds. Yeah, no more slapping. I guess we saw the the dash attack in earlier builds too. Oh, sorry, my note says no more slapping an enemy around. So yeah, this I think the first documented build where if you grab an enemy you don't slap it around for five seconds before killing it you just grab it or whatever um, uh, what else do I have a note of oh I, my, uh, the note I have here is like the mock it goes from zero to five the visual on the on the meter is instantly obviously there's in between buildup but on the meter like it, there's no in between it's just zero or full or mock five or whatever or four or five um, what else do I have? Yes, little little to no sound effects in this build, which is really awkward. You just hear the background music and nothing else, pretty much. Uh, so apparently the other level is Mansion, but I, I don't know how to access it. I don't know if someone in chat has said anything. Uh, it's on mobile right now, all of it. I don't think that's an official release, though. There, there might be like some unofficial port. If the, if it's unofficial, don't don't download it, chat. Isn't Pete's Tower on Steam Deck? Is that's a console? I guess if you consider that a console, then, then it is. Uh, sorry, I should say it's on Steam. <laughs> it's only on Steam. Wherever you choose to play Steam, it's on Steam. Is Pete's Tower mobile? I, I need to check now. I see another game called Pizza Tower, but it's not, it's not the same one. I don't think there's an official mobile port yet. I don't think there's an official mobile port, chat. It's probably some someone skimming off the popularity and trying to trying to uh, kind of like how like when uh, what's the game called? When all these basics popped off, everyone just copied it and put it on mobile. It was they were all like not official builds. It's bootleg pizza tower. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think there's a. Yeah, it's not real. I'm sure the game is on mobile, but I don't think it's a legit build. Uh, I don't think it's a legitimate one. Yeah, it's just on Steam. The only official, actual release of the game is on Steam. Anything else, I would not recommend you get it. <laughs> Could very well be malicious. Anyway, uh, next build chat. Next build. Um, I need to take a sip. I'm so thirsty. Such a good peach lemonade chat. So good. Uh, I guess here, let's open another Pokemon pack. It's been a few builds, I think, since the last one. It's not Pizza Tower, it's Sandwich House. The full game is on mobile. It might, I'm saying, it's not an, if it is, it's not an official release. Someone might have, like, found a way to port it over, but it's not official. I'm 99% sure that the game is only on uh, Steam. Not on, like, not on iOS or Android. All right. Will I play Sugary Spire? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Li likely not. But I, I don't want to say never, but likely not. Rare Candy, Pinchurin. I think Riolu, 
Starly, Scyther, Pokeball, uh, Young Goose, Calyrex, and Volcanion Hollow. Okay. At least it's a Hollow. We'll, we'll, we'll take that, I suppose. It ain't no V card, but we'll take that. All right. And what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to quick, quick snack break, chat. I'm, I'm hungry. I need a. I need a quick snack. We're having our control meal on the go bar. Check them out in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Use code Tetra at checkout. All right. And I'll read chat while I'm having a snack. Yeah, playing with yeah, I would not want to play Pizza Tower with touch controls. <laughs> no, it's, that sounds awful. <laughs> um, isn't the Pizza Tower Discord over? Yeah, I think they like locked it down. Apparently, they just got like way too many people joining. Like without the game's popularity, like way too many people were joining. I guess it became. Unmanageable. Okay, next. Alright, break's over. Next build we got. Blue Blockland build. Which, um... I've discussed in previous, in my videos, but I don't think we've shown much of it. Also, we get that music. So I, have to, I have to resize the window again. Um, Maria, thank you for subscribing. How long have we been going for? Over two hours already. Wow. Wow, wow, you wow. Right. I gotta make a mental note of having to resize it every time now. Okay, I think it's a good size. Okay. So this is... It, the build is called Blue Block Land, but then in the game it shows it as Purple Land Week 3. Um, so I've, I've showed off the, the, the placeholder graphics above each level in my previous videos. Um, but uh, yeah, we got a bunch of new early levels. Also, if you listen closely, you'll hear Wario, uh, not Wario, but Pe sorry, Pepino like, grunting as he dashes. So we actually have some sound effects now. Uh, destroying the stream. How many betas do we have to do? Um, actually, I've not counted yet. The major ones? Okay, let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29... So 29 total that I'll be covering. There's more builds, obviously, that do exist, but... And we're probably, like, 12 in. Let's see, how many are we in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're 9 in. So we're, like, a third of the way. <laughs> so I won't spend too much time on these. Um, we'll kind of just go, like, a brief look at all of them. Because I don't want this to turn into, like, a five-hour stream. I'll lose my voice several times over. Anyway, so yeah, this was like a... A lot of the levels are being like reworked again, like even graphically-wise. Um, I guess the reason it's called Purple Land is a lot of purple stuff has started to, started to be used as uh, placeholder graphics for platforms and such. Uh, so this is Pete's Escape. I wasn't paying attention. I think, I think they just call it Medieval in earlier builds. But this is Pete, an early version of Pete's Escape. So some of the layout is similar. Obviously, the graphics are not that. <laughs> but uh, I guess we can't roll with our mock speed yet. Or at least not enough to break that. Actually, let me know if the music's ever too loud. Like, right now, it's pretty loud for me, but it might be okay for you guys. Oh, weird. Pretty peculiar. So kind of, I mean, a lot of these levels look 
I mean, we'll see them again later on, but they just they will be visually improved. So I don't really want to spend too much time. Also, we can see like the hitbox of the uh, Fork Knight, which is kind of cool. Like we don't really see it before this point. Also, obviously slightly different in later builds. You get the knight power up here. Here we just get the key instead right away. In fact, I don't even know if we need the knight power up yet. Okay, it doesn't have the double jump yet. So I guess you didn't even need it here. It just, like, if you've played this level enough, you'll, like, start to realize the similarities. And it's just weird seeing it like this, I find. Nice, I messed that up. Time to cheese it. Oh! Oh, if you go too high up, it counts as dying? Okay, that's... I don't know, I don't know if that's new, but... Um... I mean, usually... Usually, there's a ceiling. Right? Okay, I guess we'll keep this for now. I guess the knight can't break through those blocks. Is John Pillar in this build yet? I don't know, we get a key here still. So later on, I guess, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining stuff that we'll see later on in future builds, but later on, uh, there's gonna be a Pizza Mart there. Oh, I guess this, oh yeah, this, 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 this finally introduces like proper wall running where you can actually uh, like w run up the wall more than for like one second. Pretty epic. Yeah, also the Pizza Arts gave you uh, the Night Transformation. Yeah, good call. They did that for a while. Um, for several builds until, yeah, it was changed to them just, just hurting you. Which I guess makes sense. I mean, it was... That's the thing. Part of the uh, Pizza Arts was for them to be annoying. That was one of their things. Like, in some parts, like, you didn't want the Night Transformation because it would, like, screw you up. You'd want to uh, not have it. Tetra, if you think about it, Pepino is Wario and Gustavo is Mario. Pretty much. I think that's probably what they were... That's the inspiration they were going for. Or the reference they were probably aiming for. Yeah, okay, we'll play this for a little bit longer. Because you kind of, you guys kind of get the idea. It's like, this build is a lot of purple blocks. That is, that is the nature of this build. Also, uh, we talked about it in my previous videos, but yeah... Stages used to have six secrets rather than three. It's surprising how little transformations are used as hindrance in the final. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely different. Different, uh... Am I not going to make it? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It's definitely a different, like, philosophy around transformations. For better or for worse. I know some people don't like it. Some people do. That should be enough. Let's go. I think we'll try to beat like one of these levels, or at least get to the end. Now, like here, you wouldn't want to be the knight because you'll just fall down the steps. Which, I mean, you get pizza tower, but you don't really want to get it that way, essentially. Also, yeah, doing the shoulder bash thing isn't that good because you caps your speed and you don't even kill the enemy. You kind of just like bring it along with you. Also, there's like no indication of where to go. There's like nothing telling you that, oh, go this way. You just literally have to remember <laughs> which way you came from. Anyway, that's, let's see if I can do another build quickly. I was gonna say, that's like, we'll, we'll be doing that level several times again. Cause we'll, well, I don't know if we'll need to, but we'll do parts of it again. I don't want to spoil it <laughs> the third time. Uh, Ruin, I believe is just the early version of Ancient Cheese and Dungeon is an early version of Blood Sauce. Yeah, Blood, Blood Sauce Dungeon, obviously. Both have Dungeon in the name. I guess, yeah, I guess good thing we came here. We get to see the early version of the shotgun, which I just lost. Okay, no, never mind. Just puts it away. Uh, so, we, yeah, you get ammo for the shotgun. It's not unlimited use like we saw in some of the previous builds. It's still, try, unlike in the final, this build still has uh, ammo for it. Works completely differently, it seems. It has like a... Uh, the, pro or the uh, 
placeholder square projectile. Also, placeholder lava there. Also, I guess for posterity, let's, let's get footage of uh, fire butt transformation. Even though we just passed it, but I'm sure we'll see it again. So yeah, the, the shotgun was like less of a necessity before. It was more so just like a convenience thing of killing enemies faster, which is good. Not a bad thing, but it's not as useful, if that makes any sense. Unfortunately, no sound effects of Pepino getting fire butt. Right. Also, I guess convenient for plowing through blocks like that. Also an added bonus. So I guess we have the old bomb still. Wait, did I not want that? Okay. Uh, anyways, chat, that's kind of the gist of this build. It's just early versions with very much placeholder graphics. So that was the blue block land. I guess should be known as purple block land. Build. And we're moving on. What's next? Uh, ooh, now is probably the most, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if it's the most well-known, but I think it's I think it's one of the most well-liked uh, pre-release builds of the game. And that is, of course, the Sage 2019. For those that don't know, Sage stands for Sonic Amateur Game Expo. Is that what is, is it Expo? Let me check. Sonic Amateur Game Expo, yeah. So it's like a fan game competition, from what I understand. Uh, so yeah, we'll check that out right away. I guess before we do that, let's crack open another card pack. I like doing this between builds. Kind of splits it up a little bit, you know? Also gives me a time to... A few seconds to chill. Can you make a video about Scratch? I don't know what Scratch is. This demo is what got me into the game. I'm excited. Yeah, I think it's most people's like favorite builds. Probably not everyone's, but most people. Oh, wait, I, I didn't do the card trick. One, two, three, four to the front. There we go. They really, in the new packs, they change the way you do that too. I think it's just one from the back. You don't even need to do the card trick anymore. Great Ball, Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Larvesta, Ponyard, Reverse, Pancham, and Lipard. Is that a hollow? It is not a hollow. Okay, I thought hollows were guaranteed in these packs. I guess not. Well, there we go, Chet. We got our first non hollow pack of the day. Unfortunately. All right, moving on. Bun up, bun up, bun up, bun up. Okay, uh, what's next? Sage, right. Let's boot it up. Okay, let's resize this again. I hate that I have to resize this. I hate that the default window size is so tiny. It's so, so weird. Music still slaps, though. So yeah, so for this build, we, we get a new title screen, which you'll see in two seconds here. Get a new title screen, which is seen in, for, for the next few builds, a very similar one, actually. Uh, the weird thing is this is one of the few builds that actually shows on the bottom what each option is. You'll see start game, option, and erase data. They kind of took out the text in future builds, which is kind of weird, I found. Uh, because you... If you don't know what it is, you have to guess and check, kind of. Also, we have the manual in this build, which is pretty epic. I've, I've talked about this in my, uh, I think my last video, where most of these graphics are still left over in the current build of the game. So it kind of just gives you a, a rundown of transformations, enemies, all that stuff. Quirks, fighting tricks, stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways. Noise is calling. Pick up phone. Chat, it is time to meet Snick. It is him. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the pizza, Pepino. Do I have him unlocked in this build? Oh, I don't know if I do. Oh, baby, a triple. Okay, chat, we'll go through unlocking him. I thought I had him unlocked. Is it a different build? Hang on, save, 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 save. Is this age build? 
I definitely did unlock him, so I don't know why it's not unlocked still. Just wondering if there's another build that I had that was had him unlocked. It wasn't the Let's Go to Sage ones. Huh, I, this must be the one that I had. It's just the save file got deleted? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go unlock him. Yeah, we have, to, we have to go through all the levels again, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess we should anyway. The graphics are improved and stuff, so we might as well kind of go through them. So yeah, this is very similar to the levels we just played. It's just actually has proper graphics now. Oh, the cats are clawing at the door. Uh, I'll just try my best to speed run through them. Also, yeah, we have pizza coins are back again. You can use them to buy shotguns and stuff, which we'll see later. Okay, so I actually... No, st I still don't need... I still don't need the, uh, the night power up. In fact, I don't want it. Yeah, this was again. This was changed later. Nor in later builds, um, the there's like the sword and stone up at the top there. Oh, is this the first build to introduce taunt? This one. This one that has Peter. Oh, I didn't show the Peter Griffin build. We'll have to do that after this one. How rare is the Peter Griffin taunt? Anyway. I don't want to sit here and just taunt all day. But, uh, yeah, I forgot about the Peter Griffin build. That was, like, the first, one of the first builds. We'll have to visit that one after this one. And the cats have, like, such separation anxiety. It's crazy. I can't blame them, but it's just, like, sometimes if I just want to work or whatever, I just keep scratching at the door. Sorry, I said I was going to speed through these. I, I guess I don't need to get the toppings and whatever. Also, there should be a ceiling now, so I can't do that. Hell yeah. Okay, we don't need the secret. It's just so funny how, how much better this build looks compared to the, uh, the previous one. Like, it's not even close. Also, works much better. I don't think I can afford... Oh, yeah, even this section is so much better because I can... Yeah, you just bounce off the walls. It's so much more streamlined. So much better. And even this, everything, everything is so much better. Oh yeah, there's also the, a rare chance that you'll see. So I talked about it in my last video, right? Yeah, where there's the uh, some Patreon winners, or uh, sorry, the Discord, the Discord winners. Some other screams are in this build. We heard it there for a, for a few seconds there. These are my like least favorite parts. It's like the again when the ability is almost a hindrance if you don't use it right. Not my favorite cup of tea, but okay. I don't know if I need to get all the top ins for Snick's challenge. I don't remember. Chat, do I? Do I have to get all the top ins for Snick's challenge, or is it just rank based? I can't. I think parts of it are rank based, if I'm not mistaken. Just beat the levels? Okay. Yeah, it's been like a month since I unlocked Snick. I just I don't know why my save file was lost. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh well, it is what it is. Fine, fine, don't kick me. <laughs> he like kicked me but it didn't work and then At least I'll have a surplus of, uh, God dang it. I'll have a surplus of pizza coins now. Okay, that block was just getting on my nerves. Okay. There we go. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll just speed through the levels just to unlock Snick. Because I do want to show him off, so well, I guess we'll have to go through that. Moving on. 
Scratch is a MIT owned site like Flash. Okay. Interesting. I have not heard of it. Scratch. Can't, can't, unfortunately, can't say I've heard of it. The only like, Flash thing I know is Flashpoint, which I also have not played in a while. I should try playing it again. I was going to stream a lot of the games, actually. Well, that was my intentions anyway, but I never got around to it. Oh, I keep thinking you have to do that. I, oh, man, I guess I haven't learned. You have to actually ground pound first and then do that. I keep thinking you can break through those with the super jump, but you actually cannot. Wow, what an easy secret. <laughs> it's literally just run into it. Can't complain. Can't complain. All right, we're moving. I miss Flash, like OG Flash. Yeah, Flash was a good time. So I guess this is the first time you can pick up bombs. You, I'm just kidding, you still cannot pick it up. You still run with it. Never mind. Take it back. Don't do scratch. Lower than the low programming language. Low level program language for kids. Interesting. I have not heard of it. I only know how to program in a little bit of uh, Python and a little bit of MATLAB. That's about it. Well, I guess I know. I mean, I can just knowing those, I can kind of get around some other ones. But. Uh, you know how it is. Like, if, you, if you know some programming languages, you kind of can learn some other ones. But I'm, programming is definitely not my thing. I do not have the patience for programming. I thought I would. Like I was, I was hoping to be a, a, a computer, uh, a computer software engineer. That was my original plans, and then I realized that I'm, I do not have the patience for uh, for programming. I, I enjoy doing it. Just I don't. I don't have the patience for it. I don't like when things don't work or go your way, you know, or like when you're working on something and stuff doesn't go your way, you know? Uh, so that's, that is pretty much most of programming. <laughs> you know, I need, I need the bomb, I need the bomb, I need, oh no, I guess, I guess there's an infinite spawner there. Never mind. I was going to save that one guy, but why am I blue? That's a good question. Did I change that? I don't remember. Maybe that's like tied to the save file? I'm not sure. Dang it. Uh, Cause I think I was blue the last time I played regular Pete's Tower. So I wonder if it uses like a save file from regular Pete's Tower. I'm not sure. Couldn't tell ya. There was a secret there in the PvP. Yeah, we're kind of just like skipping secrets. Right? I'm, I'm kind of just trying to speed through the level. I want to unlock Snick. Like, I, there's a secret there, I'm sure. What's up, Tracy Schaefer? You're always blue in this build. Oh, okay. I guess it's just, it's just a coincidence that I was blue in uh, when I was playing last time. The, the full build. Is it blue to be similar to uh, Sonic? <laughs> is, that, is that the is that the intention? So I think that's why they uh, included stuff like obviously Snick and uh, the Sonic Adventure poses and stuff. I think it's because it was a Sonic fan game thing. At least that would make sense, wouldn't it? In it. Going to the Super Mario movie tomorrow. Hell yeah, Sunshine. That's sick. I don't know when I'm going to see it. Probably, I'll probably see it next week sometime. I don't know if I'll have time to see it this week. Um, so I'm hoping I can avoid enough spoilers till then, but... Uh, I do... I am curious to see it. I hope it's good. Dang it, I, I wanted him to kick me there. <laughs> Every time I need him, I just never get him to kick me. And then when I don't need him... It's always there. Okay, where do I go now? Where's the exit? Like I don't remember where the I don't remember where the exit is. Let's do this again? Truly peak level design. You break the metal blocks again in the same way. Oh yeah, this. Oh, I had the I had the Peter Griffin pose there. Hell yeah, the taunt. 
Like one second. Okay. He stars one of the best platformers, even in his beta builds. Not all of them, but there are some beta builds that are very good. Some of them aren't that good, <laughs> frankly, in my opinion. But some of them are very good, still. I will not use YouTube for spoilers. I hope I hope someone like Prosophia Gaming or whatever doesn't make some all boss battles in Super Mario Bros. movie thumbnail that will spoil everyone. Because I'm obviously not going to avoid YouTube for like a week, but... I hope no one does that. I would be. If it reveal, I mean, obviously Bowser's in the movie, but if it reveals something else, I would be pretty upset. He's spaghetti. And yes, I know I missed the topping again. We're kind of just blazing through it, through the level. So we'll have to play through the like. We'll have to play through the, all this again when we're doing Snick's challenge. Uh, for those that don't know, essentially Snick's challenge, you it's kind of a gauntlet of all the levels put together. You essentially do pizza time back through all three levels in this build. Uh, so we'll, we'll see these again. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> Imagine. I'm sure there's gonna be some YouTuber that's gonna do that, like all boss fights or something in in uh, Mario movie. I guarantee you, someone's gonna do something like that. Unironically, to add to that, they're gonna do it, and they're gonna do it unironically. No! Okay, well, that was close. <laughs> oh, we have the slap move. Wait, I saw the slap move for a second. Was it just after hitting an enemy? That was weird. I saw Pepino doing the slap thing. Weird. So is it like, par it's not in by default, but is it like partially in? Strange. Here we go. I so for this level, I first played it the stronghold version, which we'll see later. And you play that level in reverse, so I'm so used to like going through this area backwards. Nice, I got comboed. This song slaps, dude. Is this in the final game? I can't remember. If it isn't, it slaps. Do I have enough coins for a shoddy? Hell yeah, let's do it. I think this one gives you unlimited ammo. How do I use it? What button is it to use it in this build? Oh, it's like it's like up and oh, up and attack. Oh, I just lost it. Are you kidding? It's oh, that's so sad. What a waste! What a waste! Oh, can I can I get it again, or is it like a one-time thing? Oh, it really do be a one-time thing. Okay. I don't think I've lost it before when I played the build uh, the first time. I didn't think I was going to lose it after one hit. I would have been more careful. Yeah, I was up in grab. I thought I was up in taunt. Because I'm a fool. Wow, look at that combo. Crazy. Again, this section I'm used to playing it backwards in Stronghold. Same with this. <laughs> there's a secret here somewhere. I think it's somewhere there's a secret in that wall. Anyway. Just take my word for it. There's a secret in that wall somewhere. Oh, we have reached the top. Or bottom, I guess I should say. Oh, we can do the... I keep... I forgot we can do the... Uh, the uh, I, don't, I don't care enough. Sorry. <laughs> we can do the... Uh, shoulder bash thing. Oh my god, this guy's just so annoying. Just get rid of him. The super tower dash move. We can finally do it again. There we go. It is pizza time. Let's clear this level quickly here.
I still love how there's like the, the the negative minus world pizza blocks where <laughs> they're just like purple instead. Damn, that was actually almost good for a second. I guess I should just run up the wall. I think that's what it wants you to do. I, I just shouldn't take my chances, I suppose. So I guess you don't build speed going upwards. I don't know if that's the same as in the final. I don't think I've ever paid attention. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Could a lot less time for Mach 3? I don't know if, I guess it does seem like it, you build speed faster. It's probably a thing, I'm sure. It definitely seems like I build speed a lot faster. Oh, there's a secret there. Good thing I care. Nose is itchy, chat. Bum, 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 bum. There's a secret there. I love how some of the in-wall secrets aren't even hidden. They're just like, <laughs> they're just there. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, oh, not what I wanted. The movement in this build is so much better. I, I, I get why people like this one so much, because like the movement is a lot closer to the final version. It's a lot more fluid. It's just so much better. You can like wall run properly. Wow, I got enough for a C rank. That's crazy. Can I uppercut yet? Okay, not yet. I wonder which uh, build introduced the uppercut. I haven't really paid much attention. Go, 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 go. Also, I don't know which build... I've never, like, taken the time to run out the clock enough, but I wonder which build introduces Pizza Face chasing you down. I don't know which one that is. Okay. <laughs> Pizza Face would work as a Terraria boss. Prove me wrong. All right. Now we can do Snick's Challenge. Definitely not a reference to any... Sega Saturn game with a uh, attached creepy pasta. All right, so essentially we just—it's a ten-minute gauntlet of the levels with. Uh, you don't do pizza time in each level. Um, like once you get to the end of one level, I believe, from what I remember, it just takes you to the next one. But you also get the added benefit of having a Snick EXE chasing you around the level. Constantly chasing you. Typically not much of a threat, but... I don't even remember what happens if he catches you. I don't know if... Uh... Anyway. The time crunch is... like There's quite a bit of time crunch, though. Uh, like, 10 minutes seems like a lot of time, but... If you think about it, like, going through all the levels... I think, the la I think when I beat it the first time, I think I was within 10 seconds of... Uh... Of losing. So I'll kind of have to focus on this one. But after this, you get Snick, which is pretty epic. Kind of just hurts you like a normal enemy. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Also, yeah, there's no uh, top-ins or anything like that. So like, no secrets or anything. Even all the secret rooms, I think, are empty. Uh, there's no, like, the... From what I remember, I think there's no, like, pizzas. Like, the giant pizzas that give you more points or whatever. Like, so there's, like, literally no reason to uh, do any of the secret stuff. But we still need to get the keys and whatever. So, still have to do this. This song slaps, dude. Oh, I keep... In later builds, there's a ramp here. I'm so used to it being there. I just forget to jump. So, hell yeah. I love hearing the, uh, <laughs> the Pizza Tower Discord screams. I'm sure I'll be able to beat this a lot faster. Now that I know what to do all the time. So, yeah, I think I think this is the room. Oh, yeah, this room takes us to... Yeah, so just like that, we go to the next stage. It just, like, instantly teleports you. Which I think is really cool. I think, like, I wish something like this was in the... 
final game. I know, I know there's remnants of it, like I've talked about in my videos, but... But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It seems like it would be a, a cool, like, replay build, like, a cool way to replay levels. Or if there was, like, a gauntlet that, that took you, like, through a whole world, like, all five levels in a single world. I think it'd be cool. Keep forgetting I can do the, the shoulder bash thing. Can I stop exploding? Ah, oh my god, that's annoying. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Can I please... Oh, baby, a triple. Okay, I'm scared of him. Thankfully, he's kind of easy to destroy. Kind of just disappears when you hit him. But if you don't hit him, it's kind of frustrating. So we got the key. Oh, so yeah, you start out with 10,000 points. And I think I talked about this in my last video. And then just like the timer, it counts down. Obviously, the more points you can end with, the better. Okay, we're schmoving, we're schmoving. They're so good at hitting you with the bomb, dude. It's crazy. It's almost immediately just zucks me. Can I please catch the bomb? Okay, there we go. See, stuff like that can really eat up time if you mess up too many times. Or even, like, getting hit by the, the pitzards and turning into a knight. Pitzard. Pizzards. Pizzards? I guess pizzards. Like pizza. pizza. Like, it, well, I don't know. Is it more like pizza or is it more like wizards? You know? Because both things are pronounced very differently. I say pizzards because it's more like a wizard. But it's also based on pizza, so it could be a pizzard, right? I guess it could go either way. I say pizzard. Pizzard because it's like wizard. Wizard, pizzard. Pizzard, pizzard. Anyway. Flying creepypasta cheese slime? Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, you can control the bomb. Okay. So you, just like the fire we saw earlier, you can kind of control the direction. Still, it's pretty cool. Okay, on to the next one. We've got the, the snick door, the blocky door. So on to the last level already with five minutes to go. Okay, this is probably the best I've done so far. Again, last time I think, yeah, I, was, I think I had like eight seconds left on the clock when I finished the level. So it was really down to the wire. A secret there, but it doesn't matter. No! Fireball transformation is so frustrating. It's like it just, when you land after, it just wastes so much time. Music in this mode slaps, though. Like, I don't think this is used anywhere else, is it? I don't think so. I'm sure I'm wrong, but... I don't know. It's just a catchy groove, you know? Catchy little groove. Okay, don't, don't soft block me. This would be a lot harder if you still had the health meter. I gotta say, like, if, uh... If you had to, like, worry about health while doing all of this, that would be so much worse. But thankfully, like, yeah, it's... With, uh... Just being able to take some damage and keep going, it's not too bad. Uh, what's up, 58 lol? Hey, Tetra, good to see you. Good to see you at another stream. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Sounds like you're a return viewer. Love to see it. I hate the... F what are they called? Pensers? Like pizza fencers? Pensers? Very groundbreakingly creative names we got. <laughs> the song isn't used, but is included as bonus track in the official OST. So I know there's a, there's a bunch of like unused songs that are in the game's sound test, and I've never actually gotten to that sound test personally, so I don't know which ones are included, which ones aren't. Still in the OST, though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, man, the platforming in this version is so good. So satisfying. Again, a lot more similar to, like, the final version. Like, they definitely... 
it's funny because it improved it so much and then there's like a few builds where they kind of regress like the october one that we played last time it just they're like yeah let's redo the move set again and make it worse or at least the wall running aspect let's redo it but make it worse okay, i don't want to get too cocky we're kind of almost out of time two and a half minutes i guess we're getting getting close though I love the uh, the Discord screams. So good. Santa's only includes pizza mayhem. Okay. Oh, that was a sick dodge. I for sure thought that pizza cutter was going to get me. Thank God playtesters and feedback exist. Yeah, no kidding. I love this. It sounds like it sounds like a alarm clock. <laughs> Like a stock sound effect of an alarm clock going off. And it pops off. Okay, we're very close to the end, though. It also would have been a lot more difficult if, like, touching uh, Snick would, uh, like, restart you in the room, like that one enemy in uh, the final game. That'd be brutal. There we go. That was, I mean, that was much better than the last time I beat it. Again, I was like... Within 10 seconds. Or is that the sound of uh, the noise calling? Okay. So I think we should have Snick unlocked now. Hell yeah. There we go. Boop. Hell yeah, chat. Love it. <laughs> Yellow submarine, the Mario Kart one, and what else is there? Getting boiled. So yeah, so for Snick, you don't even have to hold the run button. You just build up speed naturally. But if you want to hold the run button, just like Sonic, you can do a peel out. So you can build up your speed on the spot. So you don't even need like a runway to build up speed. You can just build it up right away, which is kind of broken. The only downside to Snick is there's no, uh, there's no, uh, you don't have any attack moves. That's the only downside is there's no attack moves. Uh, let's check out, let's do... Let's do this level. I just, just just for showing them off a bit. Also, you connect collect uh what are, the, what are they, the pretzel rings, donut rings, onion rings. I can't really some sort of ring. Definitely not like another character. But uh, yeah, pretty busted. If you you can just like build up max speed on the spot in no time at all. Or if you just want to not have to do that, you can just hold hold the direction and you'll still build up speed. And you'll build it up still incredibly fast. Oh, also, I guess I guess I should show that off. Um, the end, the ending of the stage isn't a door anymore. It's a signpost, just like another legally distinct character in the game. Whoa, that is very not the same as another <laughs> as another legally distinct character. Hell yeah! Oh, it's so. It's just so... I, I really hope they add Snick as a playable character in the game. This is the only build that I'm aware of that you can play as Snick. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if there's a chance we'll get him in, but... It's just so cool. He has, like, unique unique sprites for a bunch of the uh, transformations. And he's also, like, small. So he's, like, short enough to uh, fit through the, the shorter gaps. So you don't have to worry about uh, any of that either. So just such a fun character to play as. Snake will not be re-implemented into the game. Has uh, have the devs said that? Have they confirmed that? If so, why? Not to alarm anybody, but I think this guy's based off Crash Bandicoot. How did you know? You're not supposed to know that. The FBI will be at your door momentarily. You know, you know too much. You seem to know too much. <laughs> I love the climbing up ladder animation. Such a funny character. Snake sprites were removed in the eggplant builds. Uh, I wouldn't say that necessarily 
confirms or denies a return. I mean, there's a lot of graphics still left in, which I think has less chance of being implemented. Who knows? I feel like it would make sense, though. Like, so many people like Snick, you know? You'd think that uh, the devs would kind of make note of that. I, I get that it's kind of a broken character, but still sick. Throw me the bomb. Let's go. Okay, I guess we don't have to play through the whole level. Because uh, I, I still want to show off the um, the other transformations quickly. Uh, in Blood Sauce, there's the the Fire Snick one. Love that scream. It's my favorite one. I <laughs> just want to show off the Fire Snick, and I want to show off... Uh, the robot one, or I guess metal. If it's if we're if we're going off Sonic logic, it's metal, metal Snick. Let's go! Oh, look at that fire! <laughs> so sick. Love that. I love how he's like Ash. Is it supposed to be like Ash Ketchum's hat? Is that supposed to be the reference? Uh, and yeah, and yeah, of course the uh, the metal Terminator Snick. Okay, it's just so broken how fast you can build up the speed. I guess I don't need, yeah, I can go through here easily now. Just the fact that you don't need a runway is broken. Okay, I think, yeah, here we go. There we go, Metal Snick, so funny. I don't know, it just seems like they went through a lot of, like, trouble to, uh, make some of these sprites just for one build, you know? Anyways, chat, that is essentially Sage 2019, one of the most enjoyed prototype builds, I believe. And on that note, let's move on. That's a fun one. I like that build. That is a fun build. All right, oh, we still have lots to go. <laughs> We're already at the three hour mark chat, jeez. <clears throat> what is next? Oh, Noise Halloween. Okay, so, so we played the other Halloween build. Now we're on Halloween 2019. Was it too ambitious to try and do every mod in one stream? <laughs> every, uh, not mod, every ROM, not ROM. Every pre-release build. So I can't find the right words today, apparently. Uh, let me resize the window again. All right. So we won't play this for too long because it is, uh, so it features a stage called Pizza Scare, which is just a remake of Pizza Scape. Uh, with the difference being, let's see in a sec. Anyway, we got Snick covered in a sheet there and just chilling. Boo. Anyway, yeah, so we can switch our colors with the noise here. Uh, don't worry, I'm not dead yet. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we won't, we won't play it in depth, but so yeah, it features like different palettes for a bunch of the enemies. You see different background objects like obviously you see the, the the cheese slimes are blue stuff like that slightly different level layouts like this part is different it has like a little lower section at least compared to the previous version normally we it was just like a flat area here right I'm really bad at this <laughs> I am really bad at this can I hang on Why is this so difficult? There we go. Wow, that was tough. Anyway, yeah, so it's just more enemies, uh, more stuff, slightly different layout. Even this section, like the secret area, there's a bit different. There's a Snick poster. Yeah, also the, the noise. I don't know how it is in the final, but it definitely builds up speed faster. 
Yeah, blue cheese. I guess, is that what they were going for? That's funny. Yeah, the pits are they're a different color. They're red now. This section was reworked a bit. Obviously, it's not the platform like it was last time. It's uh, different. It's also like a sliced in half pineapple. That's very gruesome, chat. This video is now going to be age, age restricted. I hear you actually need, this, I think it's one of the first builds where you actually need the uh, the night transformation. Also makes it really tough, so you have to make some like, pretty precise jumps around those stairs. Uh, anyway, yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you need the, also yeah, we have the, the purple uh, meatball fellas. And they're very annoying. They are very annoying. Oh my, can I just turn around please without bonking into the things? There we go. All right, we're moving on. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the basic idea. I mean, the, the, most of the level is pretty much the same experience. Here though, they introduced the Introduce the thing at the top, so you can't just cheese it. You can't just do the rocket jump at the end. To, to move on. They definitely made this a lot more difficult. Yeah, sorry, pepperoni goblins on meatball. Uh, but yeah, they definitely added some anti-cheese strats. Pardon the pun. But yeah, uh, they definitely made it more difficult for sure. Also, yeah, move the whole, uh, just grab it. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw off the Gallon Gun just so you don't get to see it very often. Hell yeah. Oh, there's Snick EXE Doll? Potential reference to Tails Doll? Yo. I think that's only seen in this build. I know, we just lost the, uh, we lost the Gallon Gun. Crazy. But we get to hear, uh, Pesto Anchovy. Sick. I will always, I will always be a fan of that. Got a Domino's ad? Was it the Noid ad? I love some of the set pieces, like the, the pineapple cut in half, the, the, the Snick EXE doll. A lot of nice little uh, speakers. Okay, okay. I, I, I guess I do want to play at the end of the level, but I guess we should move on to the next one. Because I don't want to be here for 20 years to play all these demo builds again. All right, moving on. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop my recording and restart it just so I don't lose it. I would hate to lose three hours of recorded footage. That would be catastrophic. Okay, next build chat is so we did Halloween. Now it's the Christmas 2019 build. Um, Christmas break is it this one? So this is gonna feature the fabled strong cold level, strong cold level that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so essentially it's Blood Sauce Dungeon played in reverse, and I believe it's also, just like the Halloween demo, I believe it's also supposed to be a more difficult version. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, we'll play through, I, I, we'll play it to the end, because there's, um, we'll see there's a special boss fight against the noise, which I believe is only seen in this build. I don't think it was seen in any other ones. Um, yeah, this is a Pepino's Christmas Break. Or, Santa Claus whisks us away. And I brought this up in my videos too, where some of this is left over in the, or at least partially left over in uh, the final game. Anyway, we'll get to the boss fight and we'll, we'll go from there. So, yeah, you, so you play, yeah, you play uh, Blood Sauce Dungeon in reverse. And it's also a bit different. It's like the taxis and stuff. That wasn't there before. But also just like the Halloween, we get nice little set pieces. Like we got the, the noise snowman with some party hat fella beside him. Also special uh, toppings, the Christmas the Christmas cookies. I messed that up. Music once again slaps. Custom uh, gift boxes with. Oh, there's uh, the enemies caroling. So cool, man. So much charm in this build. I love it. I mean, this one and the uh, the Halloween one. Both are very good. I wish they included like those, those like unlockable options or something in the uh, in the final game. That'd be cool. I think. 
Also, the ice blocks. I don't remember if those are in the final game or not. I know they're in a few demo builds, or pre-release builds, rather, but I don't know if... I don't remember if they're in the... If they're ever seen in the final. The ones that make you slip. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's... It is, uh... Woo! It is Blood Sauce Dungeon, but there's definitely some differences still. Oh, look at that Pepperman, festive Pepperman object. I'm trying to cheese. Okay, whatever. I was, I was trying to cheese it, but the game is not having it. The game is having none of that. Do I like Among Us? Uh, the game is fine. I haven't played it in a long time, but oh man, I have to dodge that. Ta that's new. <laughs> That wasn't a thing yet, and when we played it last, I guess we haven't seen taxis yet at all. So, whoa, fake Pepino, begging for money, wild. Yeah, this 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 is definitely more difficult than than Blood Sauce Dungeon. This actually has like platforming you have to pay attention to. Dang it! Ah, oh my God, that is not forgiving at all. <laughs> it just sends you all the way down. I think it's the first time Fake Pep appears in a public demo. Uh, was Golf not public? He appears in the Golf one. I don't know. If, I don't remember if that was public or not. I can't. I can't remember which ones are. Oh, that drops you through, buddy. I don't remember which ones are uh, public at this point. Whoa, look at those nutcracker. Look at this. Like, dude, I wish there was more stuff like this in the final. Nutcracker versions of Pepino in the noise. So cool, man. Man, that was, that was a combo and a half. <laughs> Do I like Roblox? I, no, I can't say I really care for it. I mean, I haven't played much of it, but it's not really my thing, you know? Oh my god, don't fall down there. Oh, that'd be catastrophic. No! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, I gotta take that slow. I gotta take that slowly. Unfortunately. See, that's what I mean. Like, I... I parts of this... Or at least in, like, in the earlier builds, there was much less focus on, like, speed. A lot more on, like, uh, more precise platforming. Which is not bad. It's just I'm not used to it. I like that noise Christmas tree. That's cool. It's like a cheesy Christmas tree. Little pizza, pizza face gingerbread man. Hell, hilarious, dude. Truly comedic genius. I don't remember which build introduced Gustavo. Probably haven't seen Gustavo yet. Oh, look at that. This is one of my favorite things. There's like a... Uh, Game Boy Advance graphic of uh, Pizza Tower. So cool. <laughs> nice little reference to, uh, I guess, this game being uh, inspired by Wario Land 4. Hell yeah. So cool, man. So cool. I have a feeling I don't want to ride the taxi. <laughs> it's kind of in a spot that makes me think I don't want it. Ohio jokes are unfunny. They were funny for like a week. And I think it's got zucked into the ground. What's your opinion on Cuphead Show when you're... I still haven't finished it. Still have not finished it. Anyway, so we have a noise fight. A unique one to this build. That isn't seen anywhere else. And nothing like this ever ended up getting repurposed into the game. So... It's kind of just a thing for this build, I guess. I don't know if they were planning on producing it. Ooh. So, yeah, once you get to like the halfway point, it's you gotta be on you have to be like fast on the reaction time. You kind of have to pick a side and commit to it. There's the old uh, noise fella. Okay, eight more hits. Oh he's right in, oh, okay I got him, I got him. I didn't see map yet, so no, I'm not gonna hit that. At this point it's just RNG. You just have to hope that I don't know why they didn't hit at first. Five. Oh, 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 oh. And okay. 
Also, yeah, if you fail this fight, you don't get a retry. I think you have to do the whole level again. Four more. Oh, man. No! How did that... Okay, three more, three more. Okay, two more. I'm surprised that one counted. One more. I've never actually beat this. Last time I died. Oh, it's random? Did I win? Did that count as winning? I don't know. I thought I hit I thought I hit Mr. Stick. I I'm not gonna argue it. <laughs> I don't I don't think that I don't think I hit him, but I'll take it. Whatever. Also now we have a gift chasing us. Actually yeah, that might have been there for a while. I mean, it might just be a festive uh a festive topping. I don't think I hit him there. I don't think I. I don't think I did. You don't restart the whole boss, whole level. Oh, I thought you did. Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyways, chat. The rest of the way back is pretty much the same. I guess there's no reason for us to go through the whole thing again back. All right, moving on. I missed the old enemy screams. They were funny. I could see why they got rid of them, though. I could see some people getting kind of annoyed with them after a while, you know? <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Chat. Next is getting a sip of G Fuel. That's what I need. <sighs> okay. Okay. Next up is the Noise Reworks. <clears throat> we'll play for a little bit. Uh, where is Noise? Noise, 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 noise. Noise. I believe it's this one. I don't know why it seems so cool to play the demos of Pizza Tower. It's so cool. I'm so glad a lot of them are preserved. Which I guess is what happens when they're public, but... Uh, it's very cool. I think it's cool. Uh, size that. Alright. So this is the Noise Rework. Uh, so, introduces the character select screen. We haven't seen that up until this point yet. With the bop and music. Again, this is left over in the final game, partially. It doesn't work as well. But yeah, so this reuses uh, the Sage 2019 hub, but obviously gets rid of the TV screens and we just get um, the doors. Uh, contains a lot of the levels from previous builds, like Stronghold, the one we just played, Pizza Scare. I don't know if it introduces any new levels, does it? Uh... Let's see, noise, I think it's just noise rework. So we'll just play like a random level. Uh, sure, let's do entrance, which I believe is an early version of John Gutter. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this introduces the noises moveset with the pogo stick. So it is a unique moveset from Pepino. Uh, so you dash, or you use it to dash and it only takes like two bounces to get full speed. After which you, you activate, uh, you, you'll see uh, the noise starts blinking. So if he's blinking, if you press R or whatever sprint, Whatever your sprint button it, button is. Um, so turn into a rocket and just dash forward, which is pretty... Like If you can manage to work it, uh, it's pretty solid. Also introduces a like a wall jump mechanic that doesn't require like running into a wall. You kind of cling onto a wall and then jump off of it or up. I mean, jump off it, but you can kind of choose that. You can control which way you want to go after, which is certainly helpful for getting around certain things. Also has a double jump, pretty handy for getting around. Uh, but yeah, it's just the the rocket dash can be pretty busted for a lot of the levels. Like if you, if you kind of know where to use it. Uh, 
You can certainly cheese a lot of sections. On the flip side, though, like some things are like how you would normally break. You would think you would break some of these blocks with Capino are different. So you kind of have to plan stuff out differently. Play for a couple more seconds here. It's weird. It's like janky, but also pretty slick at the same time. Like that one, you have to be kind of a master at controlling, uh, controlling the when to use the thing there. But you can also like, if you time the the uh, jump with the pogo stick properly, you can still um, jump higher, which is pretty nice. And there's a way you can still do the super jump, but it's kind of kind of wonk. Like, okay, I guess you have to. I guess you can still do the. Uh, I guess when you do the rocket, you aim it up rather than. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you can, okay, cool. So it, it, when you're doing the super jump, you can control it more. It seems. Okay, I'm gonna show an example. Like for this room, I'm sure I can cheese it by just doing that. At least most of it. And I messed that up. <laughs> and I still messed that up. There we go. But it essentially becomes a rocket transformation. Like you can you can uh kind of control if you're going up or down or side to side. Oh my god, I should have just mm. Okay, I got it. The thing is like it's a lot you have to be a lot better at controlling the uh the pogo jumps. Like if you don't plan for how far you jump or don't jump, it can be kind of tough. No, I'll, I'll pace the taxi. Oh, just despawned. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Okay, I'm going to be careful here this time. Uh, actually, I mean, I'm still going to be careful, but I'm going to be careful in another way. There we go. Okay, let's just get out of this room. <laughs> that room was cursed. Okay, chilling. Wait, you can definitely abuse the... Uh, even the double, like, the, you can double jump and then still cling onto the wall, which can be definitely pretty broken. It's it's cool, though. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's good that some characters have, like, some ups and downs, right? Like, obviously, you, you get the you get the rocket, but some things are more, like, it's, it's more difficult to control overall, and I don't know. It's kind of like pluses and minuses, right? Secrets. Anyway, fun to play as. Doesn't doesn't like they kind of scrapped the the new move set pretty quickly. So I guess they weren't really a fan of how it was implemented. It's just so good. I don't know, man. I think it's good. I think it's fun. Maybe a little too broken how fast you can charge up the speed, but. I think it's cool. <laughs> so satisfying. I think I think it's that's the most the biggest part of it. Just how satisfying it is to, to use the rocket, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're already this part. Might as well, might as well finish the level. Probably gonna get like a D rank or a C rank. Oh god, no! I guess I have to. All right, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. I hope. <laughs> I hope that's a big time sink. No, I guess I should not. Okay, now I hope I don't make that same mistake for the third time. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, still shame on me. Imagine a Peace Tower DLC with all the old content. That'd be cool. I mean, as long as it's in the game, even if it's not like out officially, but as long as it can be like recreated by like modifying the code a bit, that would still be okay. But obviously, if it was like a official mod, that'd be or an official like mode rather, that'd be sweet. Am I gonna make it 24 seconds? With the power of the rocket, I sure hope so. 
Oh, you can like jump out of it still. Hell yeah. I think we're gonna get a C rank probably. Or D? D for die? Okay, C for crap. All right. At least we didn't get D for die. Here's a tip for your next PC build. Use the whole tube of thermal paste. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Does any old build have lap two? Yeah, some of them do. Uh, we saw like a few of them earlier that started introducing it. The original way was different, the way it worked. Uh, you didn't warp back to the end. You would um, have to walk back to the end manually and then walk back. Uh, but yeah, some of them have lap two, some don't. Anyway, that was the noise rework. Uh, so, moving on. What do we got next? How many more do we got? <laughs> uh, okay, next one is the Cheese Dragon Boss. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's check that one out. So I believe this one introduces uh, an early version of a, of, of a more proper, I should say, World 1 hub. Come on, just gotta resize everything again. All right, real quick, again, if you're enjoying the stream, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button below the stream. You'll get all the info there. Uh, you got some extra nifty channel perks. Rename in the chat, access to the channel emotes, all that fun stuff. Click the join button below the stream. Or a link in the description if you don't see the join button. Uh, I'll switch back to Tofino for a bit. So yeah, this is the Cheese Dragon boss build. Uh, so yeah, we see a more proper over like a hub world, and I believe I talked about this being left over in one of my recent videos. I can't remember if it was the second or the third one, but uh, yeah. So anyway, so this introduces a new level called the Dragon Layer, and I touched this on some of my previous videos. But this was supposed to be the World One boss. The whole it was supposed to be like a, a gauntlet type stage where you go through the level um, and kind of fight enemies and things that are similar to what you'd see in that world. And also you just have the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger inspired topping fellas chasing you for because of reasons. It's also, you get like a minute, I, when I was playing this yesterday, you get like a minute time limit per area it seems and then pizza face starts chasing you but he doesn't seem to do anything so i don't know if there's like a more proper time limit because he didn't do anything like the first couple times he hit me and then a after a while he uh it actually did like time me out so i don't know exactly how it works quite yet man i'm just getting freaking comboed also, this one just has like a weird frame counter in the bottom right for some reason. J just because. It's like, okay, well, here's a here's an FPS counter for you. Oh, see what I mean? Like, Pizza Face just appears and then... Even if you don't attack him, he still like dies if he touches you. It's kind of weird. Okay, unused Camembert Squire. Give me your... Give me the weenie. So anyway, yeah, it's kind of like a gauntlet. Eventually, we'll see here uh, the actual cheese dragon boss that the build takes the name after. That's a pretty... Is that a toad sound effect? I believe that's like a sound effect of toad from like Super Mario Advance or something. So yeah, it's kind of like a gauntlet of enemies, sections from the first world, uh, use transformations from the first world. Stuff like that, you know? Old cheese blocks disappeared so fast. I don't know if it's the same in the final game, but it just seems like they disappeared a lot faster. Uh, let's break this first. Break this. Oh, do I do I have the jab still? No. So what do I? Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm dumb, chat. I'm just dumb. Right. 
Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> the random happy face thing scared me. Do I need this? Oh, I think I need this to fight the boss. That's what it is. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if that's why they changed the boss fight, but you, yeah, you kind of need to lug, lug an object around to bring it to the boss. I guess you have to hit him, just had to hit, have to hit him once, but I think you see him more than one time, though. Is this the invincible one? Is this the invincible one? Mamma mia. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think... Oh, shoot, are you kidding me? I don't think I got this far yet. Here we go. Okay, so now I have to carry this around. It's not too bad, though. Thankfully, it's just one hit. A one hit wonder. Anyway, that's the cheese boss. You see him you see him in the final game in the old tower secret room or whatever. So you do get to see him in the final game. And there's there's a interesting thing that happened with him uh, later in development, but not in the final game. And we'll talk about it when we get to that build. Anyway, and it just keeps going like that. And eventually you get a giant key that you would use to move on to the next world. But yeah, that is the cheese dragon boss build. Moving on. Moving on, moving on. Man, I'm losing my voice now. <laughs> might, have, might have to take a break and get another drink soon. Time limit is actually technically five minutes. Okay, that, that's what I. That was, that was one of my um, theories. So after five uh, pizza face touches, you time over. That's probably what it is. If you taunt, you can stall and get over the lava quick. That's actually a good idea. I've never tried that before. All right. Uh, what's next? Next is the level editor. Actually, hang on. Before we do that, it's been a minute since our last Pokemon pack. Let's do another one real quick. How many have we opened today? Like four? I think we've opened, we've opened four so far today. I think the first box had six, if I'm not mistaken. All right. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's get something good. Fighting Energy, Rare Candy, Soul Rock, Lunatone, Emolga. That was cool. Get Soul Rock and Lunatone back to back. Execute. Whoops, 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 whoops. Rock Rough. Okay. Hang on. What was the, what was the last card? Volcanion. Didn't we just pull that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm dropping everything here. What did we just get? Was it Deancey? Anyway, Valkany not important, but who's that? It is Deancey. Hell yeah. That's a, I have not pulled that yet. That is a nice full art. We will take that. That is a nice one. Okay. Next. What build did I say it was? Uh, wait, a level editor. Sure. This one will be quick to show off. It's, it's a level editor. Not much that we can really dive into. <laughs> Thank you guys for the super chats today. Very, very much appreciated. Okay. Uh, is that resize? That's actually resize. Not too bad, but it's probably not perfect. Pretty close to being perfect. Okay. So I believe this build still has the character select, but I think it removes the noise. Oh, it still has the noise. Okay. L later ones get rid of the noise for whatever reason. And it doesn't matter which one we pick. It just takes us to the hub world, and then we go in here... And it brings us to a level edit, which you can, as you would expect, edit a level. <laughs> you can make your own level and kind of... So I guess I didn't need those blocks, but... Uh, yeah, kind of make your own level, you know, make platforms, whatever. The little alcove thing. Kind of choose a bunch of enemies. Bird Squire. This one's kind of weird. I don't know why it. <laughs> I don't know why it does it like that. You like place one in, but then it kills like two of them. Anyway, uh, what else? Yeah, you can pretty pretty much put in any enemy blocks, uh, whatever lava tiles if you want. Uh, I think you can put in the bosses in yet. I think it's later ones. Yeah, there's a kind of pretty much anything that's been in a build up until this point. Almost, I believe, is in this is you can kind of place. Um, 
Later builds, you can definitely put in the, the cheese dragon boss and stuff. But So maybe not everything up until this point, but most things. Put in the pizza tower or pizza time pillars and blocks and really, really, what else? You can just put in several John pillars if you want. <laughs> if you want. We need all the all of the John pillars. How do I rotate them? Is there a way to rotate them? Oh, we just need we just need all the John pillars. Perfect. Just the way the game was meant to be played. <laughs> this is the first stream in my life. Hell yeah, the Diamond Fighter. Welcome. Anyway, that's the level. It's pretty much Mario Maker, but for pizza time. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what it is. Alright, moving on. Next is the Desert Playtest. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Uh, is it this one? Western builds? Probably. Let's see. Pizza tower, but done correctly. Exactly. Right. Is there a way on Windows to, like, when you're resizing a window, to, like, keep it the same aspect ratio? I wonder. I'm sure there is. I just don't know. It's not, like, shift or alt or something. Like, you would think it is, but... I'm sure there is some way. That would save a lot of time from you having to resize it every single time. Alright. Oh no, our member goal went down, chat. We're down to 81. What's the mean what's the meaning of this? Oh chat, we didn't talk hang on, we didn't talk about it earlier, but. Uh do you guys like my new light behind me? I guess you guys can't really see it because my head's usually blocking it, but. Yeah, I just installed those. Uh, a couple days ago. To match the ones up there. But these ones are more visible sometimes. Especially they're more visible, especially when. It's the cutoff webcam thing, like like now. Anyway, on that note, uh, so this is the desert playtest. This is the one that removes the noise, so it still has a character select, but you can't select anyone else. Um, and this has a bunch of levels that we've already played, uh, but it also introduces, I believe, I think Oregano Desert is redone. Am I playing the right build? I think I'm playing the right build. Am I? Let me just let me just check my builds really quickly. Uh, oh, whoops! This is, this is not the right build. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Whoops! That is not. I repeat, we're getting ahead of ourselves. That is not the right build, chat. That is actually like the next or two builds away from where we are now. Uh, this is the build that I wanted. I mean, they're pretty similar, but a little bit different. Same, but different. A distinction without well, it's, it's not just a distinction without difference. There, there is quite a few differences. Uh, there we go. Okay. Anyway, this this is the right one. And it still has the noise. I we I got ahead of myself there. Um, which one is the right one? It's usually the one down there is the right one. It's tough because you can't see which level's which. Ancient cheese. I believe it's that one. Pizza. No, I believe this is the rework. So anyway, this is the desert playtest. It's a re. It's a remake of Oregano Desert. Um, so we haven't played Oregano Desert in a minute. And it's, for the most part, pretty similar, um, but kind of like I alluded to earlier, the UFO is a bit different, which we'll kind of just get to and show, show you guys what I mean. Do I clean my room often? No, not, not as much as I should clean it. Thankfully, Big Girl does it most of the time. <laughs> So yeah, this is what I meant. So normally we didn't have to, or earlier at least, we didn't have to get the key for this door, but now we actually do have to go into the Pizza Mart here to uh, to grab the key. Just fine. So before this was just for, uh, I think like an extra item or something. I can't remember. 
but also this has the unused version of the Kamenberg Squire. It's an already unused enemy, but this one you can't, you can't defeat it, never mind. But you can, or you can't pick it up, rather. I think you can slap it around or something, but you can't grab it like most enemies. Can you clean it for me as well? Sure. <laughs> Do Among Us Lost Bits? I already did, I did Among Us twice, actually, already. I assume, based on you seeing it, oh, I have not ever found that secret before. I assume you haven't watched it yet, based on you asking for it, but I've already, I think I, well, I think I unlisted the first one because it was very short and not very comprehensive, um, but, um, I have I have made an Among Us Lost Bit, so it is it is on the channel. Oh yeah, so here I have no control over uh, this ability, like I did in the previous one. This one actually still has me just running in one direction, which is fine, but kind of annoying sometimes. If you if you mess up once, it just wastes a bunch of time. There we go. So yeah, this one like I I, I think I brought this up earlier. Here I believe the yes here the noise bombs already are active. The problem that I have with this build is if you if you're supposed to get hit by them, and if you don't, you're you're kind of you're not fully soft locked because you can still exit the room and come back. So, but you can't progress unless you do that, which is I think kind of annoying, and I think it's very like it disrupts the flow of the level quite a bit. And there's several instances where that can happen, where you where you have to get hit by the thing, which by its like in and, in and of itself. Uh, and it kind of trolls. Sometimes you don't want to get hit by it, sometimes you do, which I, I don't know. I think it's kind of weird the way it handles it. Like here, you, there you didn't want to, here you do want to. It's So I'm kind of glad they changed that. I, I didn't think it was implemented well. Uh, anyway, so yeah, unlike the previous time where it only activates on the way back, here it uh, is always there. Anyway, I just want to show off a bit of the UFO, and we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, so just small changes with this one. Nothing too crazy. Love that. Love that. Can I hit this? Just like this? Oh, I can't. Okay. For some reason, I thought you had to do the super jump, but I guess not. So the UFO is pretty similar, like, but like I again I alluded to earlier, there's a bigger emphasis on using Kentucky Kenny. Also, there's like a bunch more TNT blocks and stuff. Like this wasn't there before, and this one just lets you. If you do it fast enough, you get to the secret area. Not that we need to, but uh, and in this section, is, uh, yeah. So here before there wasn't Kentucky Kenny. You have you had to. Uh, there's just like a speed block. Here, I believe you have to use him. Yeah, you have to for those at least. And for here as well. And it's kind of annoying because if you mess this up here, like if you touch the cow here, you have to go all the way back to the previous room because there's not another one here. Which is not, uh, just, I, I get that they were still like, kind of working on this, but there's just a lot of annoyances in this build that are quite unfortunate. Like, it, And it's simple stuff too, like just having another one in the next room would have made it a lot better. Oh wait, do I have to do this? Oh, see? <laughs> so you have to, sorry, you have to get the cow here, then you have to do it, and then you have to do it again uh, after you Blake break the block, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah, you don't need him yet, so yeah, I should clear this first as regular Pepino. It's just like little annoyances like that, you know, like stuff that could be a lot better. So yeah, I need him here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, after this section, I think I need him for... Yeah, breaking that block. That's literally the reason I need him. Uh, so you, essentially, it forces you to do the whole thing twice. Which is, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it's bad design, but... Could be better, in my humble opinion. There we go. It's just... I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I don't like it. 
Uh oh, is that a noise trap? And again, see there, like if if we didn't run to the left and get hit by it, we would have to would have had to exit the area, come back, try it again. Which I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's that good of an idea. Anyway, so yeah, si similar UFO structure to the one we saw previously, but obviously a bit different. I love the old death sounds. Also, we're going the wrong way. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Anyway, that's the idea of this build. Of the West, or sorry, the desert build. It's kind of a, a rework of the desert level. Getting it closer and closer to the final release. And then next up, we have the graveyard playtest. Uh, and I talked about this in my videos. You'll see right away. Uh, I believe this is the first documented build that um, of the graveyard level I haven't seen it thus far yeah, here we go. I mean knock on wood but the camera hasn't frozen all stream so I'm pretty pleased with that usually the camera likes to freeze Noise is still here. Let's go. I'll be there in 69 days. Haha, <laughs> XD. Funny. So I believe this is the level for... Well, we'll show it for a little bit, but yeah, it's another purple block, very basic version of the... Uh, of the... Um, graveyard level. And like I met, or showed off in... Uh, one of my videos has an old version of the ghost where you have to like mash A. Whoops. Sorry. Rip eardrum people. Uh, you have to mash A. Instead of just holding A, you have to mash it to kind of float upwards. And yeah, so we have the very basic like pink blocks that are what you have to phase through. Also very like there's like no like, no, no background music, which is kind of weird. Also uh, early or like the crosses are there, but they default. It's like random placeholder graphics like that <laughs> smiley face. Uh, so just a, a lot of weird stuff, you know? Which do I prefer, the transformation blocks or the stupid rat? Um, I don't mind the rat sometimes, but I do think transformation blocks were cool. A little bit kind of basic. I, like, there, there's more charm in using the rat, but... I don't know. Some variety would have been cool, I guess. Is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, so yeah, another basic level that uh it's the first time introducing the uh also i guess the old way of getting the power up um you you would get shot by the the sheriff fellas uh yeah look at the the, the the tombstone there is the is just like a trash can just random stuff uh but yeah we see like the old like placeholder bullet just like a, a ellipse uh so yeah just kind of a i don't know how much similarity there is <laughs> <laughs> to the final level because I don't really remember the that level very well but uh, also we got the shotgun which shoots in a spread now again unlike the previous time where it was just like a well I guess we didn't see the what could we use the gatling gun instead last time but this one um what just hit me uh this one unlike the last time we used it it shoots in a spread rather than the singular uh block or whatever very weird playing this without music it's very awkward playing it without uh any background music just like earlier it was just sound effect or just music no no uh sorry just music no sound effects now it's just sound effects no music Feels weird they're treating this transformation more as a punishment in this build instead of a power-up to navigate. Yeah, it's like a hit or miss. Sometimes you... That's the thing. And that's with a lot of builds. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes you don't, right? So I think this is a cross, which I'm supposed to throw here. Uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes it's a detriment. Sometimes you need it. Which I'm glad they changed that because I don't think that's a cool... Uh, I don't think it's a very good way of implementing them, but... I'm sure some might disagree. Am I supposed to? Oh, nice, nice. An underrated mechanic they didn't really have in the in the final game is using the ground pound to um <clears throat> to lift enemies or whatever. I don't think that's ever used in the in the in the final game. 
but some uh, some pre-release builds have it. I think it's a cool mechanic. I don't know. See, so yeah, this one like you need it, and you have to avoid the uh, you have to avoid the um, tombstone things. Also, yeah, that boulder I believe is unused. Very awkward playing this. It's quiet. Can I take over enemies in this build? No, I cannot. That is a later build thing. Anyway, that's kind of the gist of this level. Most, it's just like, yeah, early basic version of uh, the graveyard level. I can't remember the actual name of it is called, but early version of the graveyard level. Okay, um, what's next? How long have we been streaming for? Almost four hours, chat. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Uh, so now is the the Western build. That's the one that we played earlier by accident. I don't. I read Desert and then I saw Western. And I was like, oh, I, my brain put one and two together and they didn't equal four. Uh, where is it? Uh, Western, Western, Western build. There it is. Ooh, spooky music. Um, uh, just want to see what else. Okay, so yeah, this build added a few more levels, which we'll play briefly. Which we shall partake in briefly. How you guys holding up? You guys getting hungry? You guys getting thirsty? Can I can I get you anything? All right. Actually, before we, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna finish my control bar here because I'm still hungry. Opinion on EA? I uh, I don't even have much of an opinion on EA. They're kind of fine nowadays. They're not as bad as they I think used to be. EA game I played. Like maybe like Battlefield 5 was the last one I played? I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so this level, or this build rather, introduces two new levels. <clears throat> we got Fun Farm as well as Space Pinball. So Space Pinball was a completely scrapped level, but it was kind of like reworked into, I mean, you'll see parts of like the saloon level, you'll see parts of like a few other levels um, that are in the game. But yeah, like the concept for this kind of got scrapped. It was kind of like a, like a Space Pinball level, go, go figure. Uh, but yeah, also like, yeah, parts of like the space level, <laughs> it's weird, it's weird. So there already was the space, or there is going to be a space level separate from this one. But uh, yeah, it kind of has aspects of the saloon. I keep wanting to say Mirage Saloon, but that's uh, Sonic. EA Sport. I don't remember the last EA Sports game I played, to be honest. But yeah, it has bits of like, yeah, it has bits of like the space level, like with the portals and stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool the way they do it here. I don't remember if they do it like this in the final game, but yeah, you kind of use them here to build up speed. But like not too much speed, otherwise you can't jump over it. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of finicky, but you actually use it to build up speed. I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, like I said, it's finicky, but it works, you know? Also, yeah, we have the, the focus on the ball ability in this level as well. Cool level concept. I like it.
Yeah, like this, like the, it has like the, whatever it's called, the fire, or the lava, lava pillar puzzle, kind of like the, uh, like the uh, final game has. That's weird. A topping in a secret room? Interesting. Whoops. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Anywho. Ah, uh, that's kind of the gist of the level. Yeah, we got the key now or whatever, and now we go to the other area and I think it's a cool level. I don't know. I don't know what the general, like, community feelings for this level are, but I think it's cool. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of the gist of that. And then there is also... I do want to play this because I played it yesterday and it's pretty cool. It's an early version of Fun Farm. Uh, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> there's there's a, there's some cool Mort stuff to talk about. See, I don't think you get the shotgun. How do I use it in this build? Okay, it's that one. Weird. Um, I lost my train of thought. Um. Hey, I don't think you get. I don't. Do you get the shotgun? In, oops, I lost the shotgun already. Uh, I don't think you get the shotgun. In Fun farm. I don't think you get the shotgun until war, right? In the final game. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I played it, but yeah, I think. Uh, I don't think you get the shotgun until war. Or uh, or do you get it in the cove level? I don't remember. No Mort the chicken. Oh no 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 Mort Mort is in the game. Don't you worry. Well we'll see more right away. We'll see more right away. Oh yeah, don't make a sound. That's where it's first introduced. That's right. Yeah, because you shoot up all you shoot up all of the uh, animatronics. That one's a satisfying uh, level for sure. So yeah, some similar ideas to Fun Farm, obviously, like we have the ladders and stuff. Uh, Mort works completely different, as we'll see right away. Why did that guy have to spawn in? Why did that guy have to spawn in? Man, yeah, Mort is the point of the level. Exactly. Yeah, we'll see him right away. He's in the next room. I'm excited to show you guys the, um, for those that haven't seen it, the, uh, the old, like, what was it called? City? It was, like, the old version of the city level. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Off the top of my head. Something like that. Oh, so, yeah, this level, uh, features these, like, burning, uh, burning things of, uh, wood, I guess. And then you, you have to light them on fire and then use them to, like, propel yourself upward. They were using quite a few builds. Uh, early builds, at least. I just got removed. So, yeah, I don't think... I don't remember that being in the final, so... Okay, so here we get to see... Mort right away, I believe. I thought it was earlier, but I guess it's pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Here's Mort. Okay. Okay. So Mort in this, uh, he doesn't like have the hook or anything like that. You just get a single jump, also no double jump, but you can kind of glide, similar to uh, the noise from earlier. You kind of do a slow fall. Uh, you have a normal like attack move. And the only reason you need Mort in this build is for these comically large <laughs> 3D blocks rotating of uh, featuring Mort. And I believe that's like the render used on the Mort the chicken PS2 game artwork. 
The first time I saw that, I was like, it was just so weird seeing uh, a 3D object in this game. <laughs> it's like, it was so weird. It still is weird. Oh, you can't pass those without Mort. I didn't know that. I thought it was just the way to lose Mort, I guess. But I guess you do. You still need Mort. Let's go get him again. I just, I love the, uh, oh god. I love the uh, <laughs> comically large uh, Mort the Chicken blocks. So good. There's 3D jump scares in the demos. Which one? I don't think I've seen the one that has that yet. You know which one? I would love to know. Yeah, it was PS1. What did I say? I meant to say PS1. If I said something else, it was definitely PS1. Um, that's kind of the gist of that level, and you just gotta use Mort for a lot more of those. Uh... Peace Tower guy got direct permission. Yeah, I heard about that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy. I mean, uh, whoever made Mort. It's given more relevance to the character than in, like, a long time. So I'm sure he appreciates it. I think I'm supposed to turn into a ghost here. Yeah, I definitely am. Oh yeah, this one's in this. I guess we, let's talk about it. This, this version, or this level, has a big emphasis on like puzzles rather than speed. There's like another room later on where um you essentially do the room in two phases. Like you do it as uh, a ghost, and then you have to do it again as Mort. I, I kind of I was gonna end or I was gonna move on to the next one, but I just want to show that off because uh, it's kind of interesting how different it is than the final version. There's a video of the jump scares. Okay. See, I don't, I don't know if those are seen in any public builds. It's at least not that I know of. Uh, yeah, it's this room. So yeah, this room you, uh, so you have to break this block, obviously. But you have to do this. You have to do this in like two phases. First, you have to go all the way up um, to get Mort the first time. So you get Mort here, and you have to like. Try to keep him as long as you can. Uh, and then you break like a block here. And then I believe you have to do another section. Dang it. And you fall down here. So now you can... So yeah, now you become a ghost. Now you want to use the ghost ability to go all the way back. Um, or is it to go down here? Uh... No, I think I have to get something up first. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, you have, you have to go back up. So it's definitely like a small, like little puzzle, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I actually need to do here, though. Or I guess you you just need it to go back up here, and then you get Mort again. Uh, so you can go back to that other area we were just in. It's just like weird. I don't know. It's just kind of not similar to much else in the game, you know. Yeah, so now we have to slow glide here. So yeah, like it was like I don't know, I don't know if calling it a puzzle is the right word because it's not that puzzling, but yeah, the, the the point was much different. Like you can kind of tell there's a so yeah. Now I have to do it again as the go. It's just weird. Now I have to do it again. I guess I did it backwards. I think I was supposed to go that way first, and then yeah, I was supposed to go that way first, and then go this way and get the ghost. Yeah, that's what it is. And now I have to be the ghost, and now I have to go back to that other room to pass those, uh... So yeah, now I go here. But yeah, first I had to go here as more to break those blocks, I think. And then, yeah, now I can pass through. And now we're done. It's just, yeah, weird, you know? Very, very peculiar, you know? Anyway, that's the gist of that build. Just wanted to show that off. Moving on. Uh, I guess I'll quickly show the next one. So next up is level editor version three. <clears throat> Very similar to the other level editor we did. Um, just, I'll show it right away. Uh, 
Can I say Twitch here without getting filtered? I think so. Chat. We've got to like speed run through the rest of these builds. We're already like pushing four hours. Yeah, so this is just another. So this one introduced like an online aspect where you can like make an account and sign in. I don't, I think the reason was to like, I don't know, to share. I don't know if it was to share stuff or to save your stuff online or what whatnot. But yeah, you could have an account. I don't know if you can still do that or not. But um, yeah, so you can. Meme. I guess you can title the levels, but yeah, pretty much just has more objects of more of the levels that were introduced since. Uh, so this has more like the enemy blocks, uh, enemies. Now we can add the cheese dragon or multiple of them. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, the the rancher. Uh, doesn't have the cool background music, unfortunately, anymore. The other one had a really cool background track going. Uh, also, this one introduces like you can swap through a bunch of the signs and stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of really cool stuff like that. As much of the pinball assets. It's a level editor. It's the same kind of thing. You know, we've already talked about it. It's same as we've seen before. Just more stuff like a tractor and a doghouse and... Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's... Hello. <laughs> okay, enough. Enough of that. Moving on. We are. I guess I, I guess I could have played background music while that was going. Uh, moving on. Um, how many, more, how many more builds do we have? One, two. One, two, three, four. Five or six? Oh, actually, more, maybe more. We'll see. Anyway, we'll, we'll blaze through some of these faster, I guess. Uh, next, we got the beach and forest build. And I'll give you two guesses as to what this pre-release build introduces. I'll give you two guesses, chat. It has beaches and forests. Big brain. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got Gnome Forest and Pineapple Beach. So yeah, Gnome Forest is what the final level is called, but it's not Pineapple Beach, right? It's Crust Cove. I think that's, I think that's the final name of that level. I, like it, the, the names change quite often that I, I kind of just call them beach or forest. I just call them what they are rather than like their actual name. We have the old version of the tank that would actually move around and spawn enemies. Which I don't believe it does either in the final. It kind of just shoots. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I believe Gustavo was in this build already. I don't remember. Actually, I actually have not, I don't think I've played this version yet. I played the beach one, but I've not, I don't think I've played this version of the map yet. I don't know if Gustavo was in yet. At least, I don't know if it's Gustavo the same. Because I know we played the October beta, and Gustavo functioned differently in that one, too. Out of curiosity, have I ever played uh, FFX Runner in Final Fantasy? Is that Final Fantasy? Uh, I've not. Whatever game that is, I've not played it. Yeah, Among Us Lost, but it's already a thing. I answered your question earlier. It's so funny. People ask me questions, and they'll, they'll spam the same question over and over again. But then I answer it, and they just, like, don't listen to me saying it, you know? It's just, I find it always funny when people do that. They'll, like, be begging for me to answer the question. And then I do answer it, but they're, just, like, I guess so focused on just asking the question, they don't 
listen to me answering it? Anyway, I guess Gustavo is in this build. Let's go, dude. But I guess you don't play as Gustavo yet. You still do it as Pepino. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. I see. Interesting. Okay. So I guess before Gustavo was playable, they just, they're just like, yeah. You, oh, the heck? oh, he gets pressed up. Okay. That's different in this build than the previous ones. Okay. So it's like a, okay. D definitely different. It's like a pizza delivery thing, but you do it in chunks, I guess. And you do it as Pepino. Interesting. Why do I hear boss music? <laughs> Why do I hear John... Not John Gutter. Uh, Pillar John already. Oh, I was, like, I was like, can you not destroy... Oh, it is John Gutter. So I guess, are those things optional? Are the... Uh, is the pizza quest optional? This is definitely... I'm pretty sure that's different, right? Yeah, there's no... I don't remember... John Gutter being that early. Not John Gutter. Sorry, I keep saying John Gutter. Pillar John. It's an old Adobe Shock game where you can run from a black van and two silver Jeeps and a yellow car. It's, uh, interesting. I have not played it. I think. Very different than the final game, I guess. Yeah, it's like... I guess as is expected if you're not playing as uh, Gustavo, but... Also, oh wait, I don't think there are any taxis, are there, in uh, this level? I don't think there's any taxis except for the, the one city stage or whatever. Pineapples are no threat here. Well, I, I guess I can still kill them. <laughs> anyway, that's that level. We don't really have to finish it, I guess. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess the beach one will quickly go over it, because I'm pretty sure I've showed it off a little bit in my previous videos. Uh, Pineapple Beach. Also go by, goes by two other names, Alias Runner and On The Run. On The Run was exclusive to Miniclip. That sounds more familiar. On The Run. I'm not sure. That sounds more familiar. Oh, this is the boat. Okay, I thought this was an unused graphic. Wait, did I play this level? I don't remember playing in the boat. Maybe I'm just misremembering. I might have just not paid attention and noticed that it was a... Uh, a boat that you start in. That's definitely different. You don't play in the boat in... in the final game, right? I hate pincers so much. So annoying. Definitely different, dude. I feel like I've played this, but I don't remember playing it. It's weird. Why don't I remember this? I'm, I remember, th okay, I kind of remember this. I remember not being able to jump back there easily. I'm getting like conflicting memories right now. Who is this guy? I do not remember exiting a boat like this. That's definitely different. I remember seeing that in the... In the next, uh... Level... Editor, builder. But I did not... I, pr I probably did play this, but I probably did not notice that I was, you exited a giant boat. Probably completely missed that part. I also missed the part where that's my problem. If I played Google Adventures, I don't. I think the boat was reduced to a decoration in the final boat. I just don't even remember seeing it like at all. I'm sure maybe it was there. I just like I don't remember seeing it. It's 
I'm fairly certain I played this build. So it has the old, unless I'm thinking of the October build. That is so annoying. Okay, still have the ball transformation. Let's go. Maybe I haven't played this. Was there no goblin, or is that still to come? Like the, uh, the cannon goblin fella. Music slaps. These guys are back from the earlier demos. <laughs> oh, this part's tough. I remember, like, there's there's one section in this level that has, like, a lot of bombs you have to dodge. Again, it might not be this build, but it, one of one of the early versions of the stage has like so many of those uh, bomb turrets. Should I play Pizza Tower if you want to? I think it's a very fun game. It has a lot of those like uh, water path things like that are seen in the sewer level. I don't remember if they're seen in the. Uh, Uh, press Cove much. Man, those things just don't let up, eh? Are they even defeatable? This song goes hard, man. I get. I still don't have the key. Where the hell's the key? Speak of the devil, chat. <laughs> so yeah, I guess this build doesn't have the uh, the goblin part. So I must be thinking of the uh, October build that has the uh, goblin pirate guy shooting at you. Like the old version of the one that seen in the fight. Yeah, this one doesn't have it, I guess. Okay. So maybe I haven't played this build yet. At least not enough to get this far in it. Oh, I, okay, I remember this part. I remember the barrel part here. I do remember that part. I, just, I guess I just, like, don't remember anything else. Oh, I have to have the barrel, all right. Excuse me? Excuse me? Anyways, chat, that's the gist of that level. <laughs> Will I ever play Sugary Spire? Honestly, probably not. I'm gonna be real with you, probably not. I won't say never, but probably not. All right, moving on. What do we got next? Uh, b -b 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 that was Beach and Forest. What's after Beach and Forest, chat? Uh, level editor v4, should I even bother? Uh, I don't think I need, it literally just adds more objects. I don't think we need to go over another level editor. It adds the boat object. Okay, this one, actually, I don't know if I'm not allowed to, to show this one. I'm going to skip the next one, because it's not a public build. But we will move on to the April build. I do want to show one of the not public builds later, very briefly, because it has something kind of interesting that I want to talk about. Oh, okay, this is where we get into the builds that auto auto default to full screen, which is pretty annoying. I mean, you, you guys don't have to deal with it, but it's pretty annoying for me. It's pretty annoying for me, chat. All right. 
we got a new title screen. <laughs> new compared to the last one, Zoe's. Um, audio of it. Okay, so this one. Uh, what do we have for this one? So this one, UI was improved. We also just start off right away with the uh, level select screen. We also have most of the levels now are implement, Im implemented way more than the previous one. So that goes into World 4, World 5. Um, what I do want to show you guys, though, is the old Kung Fu level, which was scrapped and mostly reworked into the city level that's in the final. Also, we have... Uh, Gustavo, or not Gustavo, um, Jerome's in the game now, but works differently. So he's not like a secret that you have to find and pick up. He's chilling at the start of the level, and you can only... Um, I'm going to play some background music because there's no music apparently in this level. Um, <clears throat> you can only pick him up after a pizza time, and you essentially use him for lap two. Also, I guess we'll open up lap two here. Or oh, just kidding, it's a secret. Never mind, it's not lap two. Um... What was I going to say? Stop. Uh, we have Mr. Carr, the scrapped enemy, uh, who's seen in one of the secrets in the game. But yeah, he's, he's here. But I think the coolest part of this is it was going to... The, the game was going to have some like pretty cool... like. Oh, yeah, I don't know. You might not. You guys might not think it's cool. But uh, it has these... Sorry, it's the focus here has these sections where um, it's kind of like a, a gauntlet of sorry, I'm trying to not die here oh, I'm supposed to not hit the balloon sorry, I'm dumb uh, there's, like, there's like fighting rounds where you have to uh, fight like waves of enemies sorry, I can't string my thought enough, there we go uh, I think we'll see it right away here also, yeah, so we have the heat meter, finally. Um, which is pretty sweet. Also, the bullets. I guess we didn't we didn't really touch on that. But, uh, so yeah, so you have three bullets that you can carry around. And you can pick up more ammo for them. And it's a good time. I think it's this build. Or was it the other one? Maybe it was the other one. I can't remember. One of them had the waves. It might, it might have been the non-public build. I'll talk about it in my video, but I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, stream it. So, at the risk of that, I'm just going to plead the fifth on that one. What do I do? Oh, okay. Like, what do I what do I do here? There we go. Okay. I think it's in this room, actually. Yeah. So round one. Again, never mind. It is in this build. That was very fitting the way the music changed just as the fight started happening. That was good timing. So yeah, so you can't progress. There's like this door. So you have to like fight a certain amount of waves of enemies, uh, which I think is kind of a cool mechanic. I don't know. I think it's kind of like unique for the level. I wouldn't want it in every level, but for like a level named Kung Fu, it seems kind of cool. And yeah, this, this level also made a lot of use of the uh, barrel power-up as well. Transformations are not power-up. Keep calling them power-ups. Yo, Mario boss music? Hell yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, uh, there's other levels introduced in this build. I won't go over them here. Probably just a secret. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, also, I, I guess the, I, we didn't talk about the HUD. The HUD is reworked from the previous builds. We have like the more modern, like similar to the final version, where we have the TV in the top left, sorry, top right, uh, showing like the status effects and stuff. Uh, we have the heat meter. We talked about that earlier. So it is functional, I believe. So it's zero right now. But if we defeat enough enemies. Uh, I I don't know if this build maybe is it functional? Let's see. Doesn't seem to be going up. Oh, okay, it is. Just very slowly. So maybe it's different. Anyway, I believe it's fully functional. So I believe uh, 
We could increase the... It's just going up very slowly. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. And yeah, it's kind of the level. Um, there's obviously more levels, but... I don't know if this is the one that has the 3D jump scare. It's like a very early version of Kids Party. Or whatever. Uh, don't make a sound or whatever it's called in the final. Uh, obviously, as you can see by the, the graphics. And I don't know if it has the same mechanic as the October build where we have like the... The UI that shows you which room the enemies are in or whatever, but... I think it did. Oh, it does. Okay, kind of. So it has the monster speed. It has the amount of lives. It shows you the map, kind of. The zero is like a map of where you are. Green, zero being the room you're in currently. Uh, so kind of cool. Like, it's kind of a maze. You have to, like, navigate through. I don't think I've seen the monster spawn. They don't spawn like they did in the other build where if you make a noise... They uh, come and bamboozle you, but uh, it's very much more maze-like. So this is definitely different than the one we played in that previous stream. Uh, oh, I guess we have the uppercut now. Uh, so yeah, there's kind of early versions of more future levels. Space, I think. Is this the space? Okay, so I think the non-public version has an old version of the, of the rocket, where instead of the rocket, there's just uh, a speed boost thing, whatever it's called, the little conveyor belt. But, yeah, you'll see that in the video if you, if you watch the video. Anyway. Uh, essentially, less FNAF, more Metro Fusion. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Holy crap, it's getting late. <laughs> Four and a half hours. Okay, we gotta, we gotta blaze the, the last of these chat. The last of us, possible last of us reference. I just have to write the script for this today. It's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah, I'll quickly show the eggplant build. Very quickly show the eggplant build. Uh, I think it's important enough to talk about. I think I think this build has music. Where did you get the builds? I uh, can find them online. I don't know if I'm allowed to just say it on YouTube. So at the risk of not getting in trouble, I will say you can find them online rather easily with a certain service that lets you search things on the internet. All right. Okay, how many more builds? We got one. We already played the October build, so we don't have to play that today. And we did that last stream. So we're going to skip that. And that's a good one to skip because it's so long. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, different level select. We have the nice text saying eggplant build. Letting us know what build this is. Crazy, I know. Um, similar levels, they might have been improved a little bit. I guess War was moved. I, I, didn't, I didn't talk about it last time, but I think War used to be in World 4 before it got moved to World 5 instead. Uh, the major difference is it's called Eggplant Build. The ranks were kind of being reworked. So, where normally there's the rank for uh, Eggplant, or where the rank is during a level in the UI, it's now an Eggplant, and similar things seen at the end of the level. You get an Eggplant rank. For completing the level, you get a nice eggplant badge. That's pretty much the eggplant build. It's getting closer to the final release, of course. Uh, and of course, the, the level select actually shows you which toppings and how many secrets you've collected. So that's also a new addition, I believe, to this build. Compared to other known ones, I have to keep including that because there are builds that we don't have that they might be included there. Anyway. Uh... Okay, so this isn't a public build. I'm not even going to say what build it is. But I just want to show you one more thing. I just want to show you one more thing. Again, there's going to be more stuff in the video, so stay tuned for that. But for this stream, there's one more thing I want to show off. Um, with this build. So this is already, like, very close to the final version. So to wrap it up, we will... Uh, do this one. Uh... Sorry, not that one. Okay. 
So this build is like a month-ish away from release. Uh, a month or two-ish away from release. So very close to the final. So a lot of stuff is very similar to the final version. Let's resize the window. Okay. All right. <coughs> so yeah, we already got the main menu, the uh, intro cutscene, all that fun stuff. Did I pick the right build? I did, okay. Uh, so yeah, one last thing I want to show you. A very weird thing that works with the secrets. So pretty much, also they're kind of in a different spot. This one's a lot easier to find. Um, normally you have to jump to get the secret here. This one I believe is just right on the ground, so it's a lot easier to run into. So if you find this secret, if you find any of the secrets, first of, first of all, we'll see the, okay, the cheese dragon's there, he's there in the final build, whatever. But as soon as you find the cheese dragon on any floor, it's like a weird little Easter egg that they included. If you if you enter the room and then enter the boss fight, the dragon will be in the background. And this only happens in one build that I've seen. Like they kind of added it in one build and then removed it. And it's super I just thought it was super weird. It's cool. It's kind of like a little e extra Easter egg if you find the, the the secret room. Also, you'll see the health of the boss is different in the top right. It's like layered rather than being a 2 by 5 thing that gets refreshed. You just see them all there. Which I guess why the reason it was changed, it kind of kind of gave away that there's going to be more phases or whatever after you do it the first time. Anyway, so that's for that. But the other weird thing is the cheese dragon normally in the final game only appears in the old dungeon room there. But in this... In this build, actually, sorry, I get enough height. In this build, the cheese dragon is in every single secret room, which is super weird. And same thing, like if I, I guess I'll do it just to, just to prove what I'm saying, also will appear in any of the boss fights. And, yeah, this was, like, added. Like, it wasn't there in the build before this. It's in this one. Again, we see the cheese dragon in the background there. And then the same thing was removed in the next build. Super weird. But there's one other weird thing. I don't know if it's just it was misplaced. But I want to show you in the hub world here. I hope it, I hope it wasn't a glitch. But the cheese dragon's also, like, seen just... Flying there for no reason. <laughs> He's just there. And also in this secret too. At first I thought because like maybe they just misplaced him. They didn't put him in the secret room. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of weird. The, the cheese dragon is just in every single... Uh, every single secret room in this build. Super weird. But I just thought it was super weird that he's just chilling. Chilling on the side there. Anyway, same thing Same thing happens in the, the next... Uh, the next world but there's one more little difference uh that i want to show you guys is the oh yeah also this is another difference the the third the, the entrance door for world three is also different it puts you right down by the sewer level rather than like in the middle which is kind of strange uh so i'm glad they changed that it was kind of in an awkward spot rips naughty but also another weird thing is the crumbling of pizza tower entrance doors like right at the start of the world four entrance door rather than being up by the final level. So I don't know a few like little differences like that. I don't know if they they were just kind of made there for convenience for play testers and they just, it was just temporary, but yeah, just like a few weird things. But I think the weirdest thing is that, uh, is that, um, whatchamacallit, the cheese dragon just appearing in all the secret rooms. Even this one, You're just hanging out in all the secrets. What a, what a fella. Will I do a Q&A stream with McPig? Uh, probably not. I've never interacted with McPig before. I have zero, zero connections with Mc, McPig. Outside of knowing that he developed this game. <laughs> Alright, chat. So there's a few more things we'll talk about. Not in this stream. We'll talk about them in my video. But we're pushing four and a half hours of streaming. And I'm getting tired and hungry, chat. So we're going to start wrapping it up there. 
I do want to open up some more cards though. So we'll do that real quick before we wrap up completely. Sorry, got more, more Pikachu promo cards in the box we opened. Uh, just show you guys. We also got these two normal sized Pikachu cards, which is pretty sweet. And we'll do we'll do like one or two more packs. Also, the dollar sign isn't on the pig. Yeah, it's only like a numbers. I don't know if that's just because I already unlocked everything or not, but that's still undetermined. But yeah, so there's like it's so close to the final version, just a few small differences kind of sprinkled in. Psychic Energy, Pinturin, I think it was, Girafferig, Tangela, Baltoy, Meowth, Whalmer, Shinx. Oh, that is a nice card. I'm sure this card's expensive, or more expensive. I know a lot of people love Absol. That is a nice full art. And? Okay, that's I mean, that's cool art. It's like a crocheted or whatever. Uh, Smurlax, that's cool. Not a hollow or anything, but cool artwork at least. That is a very cool Absol, though. Okay, and then we'll open maybe one or two packs of the new set. Just because it's new. Something something fun, something exciting. We've got the Scarlet and Violet. Brand new Elite Trainer Box. Will my FNAF 1 through 4 Halloween playthrough be on Tetris Replay soon? I'm not sure if I'll upload that one. It's there. I don't know if it's worthy of a of being on the channel, though. TBH. We'll see. I'll, I'll make the decision eventually. Bust out some packs. Let's do let's do three packs, chat. Let's be bold today. Let's do three. Have I played one night at Flumpties? I don't think I've played any like FNAF fan derivative games or whatever they're called. I don't what are they what, do they just call like fan games? I don't know what they're called. Like any like the Five Nights at Wario's or whatever. I've never played any of those before. Okay, so I think the card trick for these new packs, I think, is just you just get rid of the card on the back or you put it to the front. Fighting Energy, Saviper, Houndour, something Magikarp. I haven't seen half these Pokemon. Well, that's not true, actually, but just the one. Vivillian Reverse. It's also, for, for those that don't know, these new packs, you're guaranteed to get, uh, I, I believe, two Reverse and one Hollow in every pack. So Vivillian, Smoliv, and Palmot. So yeah, you're guaranteed to get like one Hollow, like a full art Hollow card per pack. So kind of interesting. It really devalues the cards because if there's more rares, then they're not really more rare, you know? <laughs> this makes them more common. I'm new here. I have some questions on being lactose intolerant. Can you help? Probably not. I'm not a qualified medical professional, so I would not take any of my advice for uh, <laughs> lactose intolerance. All right. Dark energy. Something, couldn't read it, was too far. Drifloon, Sprigatito, couldn't read it. Cacturn, couldn't read it. Heracross, Driftblin, Reverse, Energy Search, Reverse, and... Yo, okay. Is that a full... That's a full... That's a, like a... Yeah, full art. EX. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, Magnezone's in probably my top 10 Pokemon. Big fan, big fan. Oh, before we wrap up, I do want to show you guys the, the Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin one. We haven't... We haven't seen that one yet. I ha I can't end the stream without showing you guys that one, chat. I cannot end the stream without showing that. One more Pokemon card pack, and then we'll... Uh, I gotta show you guys the Peter Griffin build. I have to. When I get bumps on my legs, does that require me to visit the GP? Are there any alternatives for diet? Uh, I... If, if you're uncomfortable with it, I would go see a doctor. But as far as alternatives, I know there's, like, lactose-free milk and stuff, but... I, again, I don't know much about lactose stuff so I, I unfortunately can't can't give you any better advice but if it's like i'm sure if it's if it's like uncomfortable i would probably recommend visiting a doctor especially if it lasts a long time hypno beach court spupa reverse whoa that is a nice card so i guess the full arts can be placed in with the reverses i've never seen this pokemon before but it is like a gold star rare which is i believe a new rarity for like the full art cards that's nice and for the last card cloth hollow all right cool well i guess the 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 first two reverse cards have a chance of being full art which is cool okay 
we'll leave her there for that but i do want to show you guys the uh peter griffin build i can't i can't end the stream without showing you guys that so everyone, all the what was it, 50 viewers that tuned out before seeing this are missing out chat but if you're watching the vod of this thank you and you'll get to see it anyway it'll be quick but this is the me <laughs> the peter griffin meme build that just exists because reasons. It's literally the, the one we played at first, but also is Peter Griffin because, <laughs> because reasons chat. And it's great. And it is truly a work of art. Unfortunately, there's no like alternate sprites. It's literally just just that, and then... Is it Stewie Griffin? I didn't reach this part. I didn't know this was part of it. I'm just gonna keep talking so the stream doesn't get copyright claimed by whoever owns Family Guy. <laughs> so, okay, okay, we have to close that because I'm sure that's gonna be copyright claimed. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, that's the gist of it. That is the gist of the Peter Griffin build. And chat, I believe that'll be a wrap for the stream. And I hope you enjoyed. That was an adventure. That was almost five hours and I'm tired now and hungry. <laughs> but I appreciate you hanging out, especially the 93 of you that are still left here. I appreciate it. If you're watching this VOD, I appreciate you a lot, a lot especially if you made it almost five hours into the VOD. Um... We'll wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. I still didn't finish my G Fuel. We'll, we'll close it out with that. Also, check out gfuel.com. Use code Tetra at checkout. To save up to 30% off your order. Be sure to do that. Help support the channel. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there. Go check out my other channels that are linked in the description Tetra Plus, Tetra Replay, Tetra Bit Clips. Go check them out. Appreciate all of you. You guys. Watch, watch the new short on Tetrabrit Plus. I don't know how many views it's got so far, but check it out. Put it on repeat or whatever. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Have a good one. See ya.